everybody, and welcome back to Garden State Esports. My name is Adam. And my name is Connor. Uh, today, we have a great game for you. We're going to be watching the Monmouth Falcons, who are number 12 in the seed, versus the number 5 seeded uh, Old Tappan Golden Knights. Uh, yeah, and that's going to be a great, great game. So um, what's actually interesting is that uh, we do have two uh, teams named Falcon, uh, or named the Falcons on the bracket. Uh, there's the Manchester Falcons, who actually had to forfeit their match last Thursday. Um, so they did not play. However, tonight, we have the Monmouth Falcons, who will be going against the uh, Old Tap and Golden Knights. Yes, yeah, so the Monmouth Falcons were actually originally number 17 in the seed, but GSE was kind enough to give them a spot in the tournament. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so actually what's uh, more interesting is that uh, whoever is the winner of this game will go against the number 13 seeded RFH Bulldogs uh, next game. And they actually beat the number four seeded WPSD Comets for that spot. Yeah, that, that one hit a little too hard. Hit a little hard, um, but uh, it was a huge upset. So we're actually really curious to see how that's going to play out in the coming weeks. Absolutely, it was a great game. And with that being said, let's take a look at the uh, at the uh, GSE Valorant uh, uh, bracket. So something I think is interesting is the amount of uh, upsets there were. There were there were a good couple. Absolutely. Um, like just to talk about to start uh, the Abzagami uh, Braves who beat uh, the number 16th Burnett uh, Vistagoths uh, uh, last week and they're going to be going up against the Cherry Hill East Cougars. Mm -hmm. uh, we also have the WWPS Pirates who are 2-0 and versus the seventh seed of Jackson Liberty Lions. So that's the second seed versus the seventh seed. Yeah, and then finally uh, the High Tech High versus uh, the number 11th West Essex Knights. Both are uh, well, one. Uh, the High Tech High is two and one, and the West Essex Knights are two and zero. Oh. And then obviously uh, decided tonight who will face the RFH Bulldogs. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's going to be um, the 13th seed for the Bulldogs. So uh, really looking forward to that match. Me too. Yeah. So we would also like to take this opportunity to go over the Rocket League uh, bracket, the high school Rocket League bracket. Um, so I think that there's going to be a ton of games uh, present at the championships. It's not just going to be Valorant. We've said that before. Um, there's going to be uh, League of Legends. There's going to be Rocket League, um, possibly Fortnite. We, you know, there's going to be a lot of different stuff. And not on. even just high school. We might also see middle school gameplay as well. Right, exactly. So we just wanted to make sure everybody was aware uh, and knows that, that uh, if you're not into Valorant, don't worry. There's going to be tons of options. I have available. a little bit of something for everybody. Super Smash Bros., which I'm yes. not going. We're not going to be casting, but I'm excited to watch. Love Smash Bros. Me too. Um, so uh, with that, guys, uh, we're glad you're here. We're glad you're all with us tonight, uh, and we're going to take a quick break. But stay tuned. We're going to get started very, very soon. So uh, get ready for a good game.
Hey guys, so welcome back. Uh, there is some communication difficulties between the teams. We're getting that worked out right now, but in the meantime, we wanted to take this opportunity to go over um, the League of Legends bracket for the high schools. Yeah, so um, the Cherry Hill uh, East Cougars, who we are actually um, one of our uh, soon coming up teams, mm -hmm. uh, about to come and face High Tech High, I see. Yeah, so uh, we it's a smaller bracket here for sure, and I, and I honestly would like to see that change. I mean, um, you saw with Valorant, we had uh, just so many teams, right? Um, but definitely with uh, a, a game, I think, that is a little more complicated, um, like League of Legends. It's a bit probably, more of a niche to right, fill. Right, yeah. exactly, yeah. Um, so really, though, this is going to be uh, another great game. You have the number four seeded High Tech High versus the number two seeded um, Old Tappan Golden Knight. So the, actually, the, the uh, Old Tappan is going to be one of the teams competing tonight uh, with the uh, Falcons. Absolutely. Yes, yeah, so that, that, that's a good looking bracket. I am surprised with how small it is because definitely like uh, League is more of a notorious game when it comes to esports. Mm -hmm. It's kind of what got it all started in a weird yeah. way. Yeah, I mean, yeah, because it's been around so much longer than Valorant. Right? Actually, maybe that is a thing. It is an older game. Mm -hmm. You don't really, like, I certainly haven't played it in, in, in a long time. So, yeah. yeah. But you got to imagine how many teachers and coaches probably haven't like heard of it. Yeah. So it's harder to like get people to help with the club. Yeah. Um, yeah, but that's, uh, I'm excited for that, and uh, I I'm also excited to see just what else is brought forth um, in terms of the high school playing. Absolutely, yeah, because I, I would love to see that, because we're, gonna, we're gonna, obviously going to uh, watch all the games at, uh, mm -hmm. at GSE. Uh, obviously, we're going to be casting the uh, Valorant side, but um, yeah, no, I, I would love to see like, how uh, much skill uh, the other t uh, teams bring to these other games. I, I agree, um, and... Uh, I also do, so we are the casters for WPSD Comets most of the time, however, they are not going to be um, in uh, uh, this match tonight. No. Uh, however, I do really want to see how uh, their team is able to evolve, um, especially after this season, after these championships. Yeah, uh, Adam wasn't with us last week, but I, I witnessed um, uh, our, the WPSD's defeat against uh, the Bulldogs, and let me tell you, um, we've been casting for a while, but... Um, as soon as we got into the playoffs, whole different ball game. The amount of skill that was brought out here got nuts. Like the amount of kills that were dropped, I believe we saw th like a player drop 30 kills on mm -hmm. the Bulldogs side. Um, same night, some, na some night, uh, I believe it was the, actually the Old Tap and Golden Knights, one of their players dropped 40 kills. We weren't streaming that game, but mm -hmm. it just goes to show the amount of, of uh, uh, skill that these teams are bringing to the playoffs, and I am terrified <laughs> you, you do you do notice like the skill level like increase so much because you really are getting like the best of the best it's this is where things get real this is where mm -hmm. like the fire gets light underneath your chair and you gotta <laughs> oh you gotta bring it all or, or leave it all and uh teams are bringing it yeah um and and honestly i can't wait to get there uh, on june 4th of course so we would hope you tune in Absolutely. um but I, I can't wait to go down to new jersey and uh, really just see what these teams have to offer i mean really in in, in every game yeah, last week, I, I think I said it on stream, last week's, uh, I think, was the best Valorant game I've ever seen. Really? It was just so much, so much was happening. It was the first time we ever went to a third map. And, uh, wow, now that we're getting even closer to the championships, I'm excited for this game. Maybe this, maybe this game will top it. I don't know. Well, because I, I think that's, that's one of the coolest things. Um, yeah, as, as fond as we are of WPSD Comets, because they are a great team and also just a great group of people, I think it's going to be fun for us to see what other teams uh, have to offer, what other play styles are out there. Um, and I think this is a great opportunity to really show everybody, hey, look at the diversity we have here. I mean, no team is going to be exactly the same. No. And the opportunity we have here, you know, very grateful to GSE for giving us that opportunity, uh, I think is going to be immensely helpful in just determining what we can expect, not only in this competition this year, but next year and the year after that, and how the game will evolve as the team changes. Absolutely. I, I know for sure um, WPSD Comets Hybrid are looking to get into other games besides Valorant yes. as the years go on. Um, yeah, and I mean, I, I know we had a, a bit of a, we had a small Smash Bros tournament um, at the school. Uh, nothing official, but, you know, I think it definitely got some hopes up for maybe an official team. I actually or... played in that tournament, and I got a whopping one win before getting taken out of that tournament. Connor. And I think I did pretty well. Connor, I watched that. I watched that match. You did. And you did do very well. I know. Thank Who'd you. Who'd you play? Huh? I, I went against uh, a nice guy named Chris. Mm -hmm. uh, I, got an, I got a little too cocky, and uh, he destroyed me as Yoshi. And, uh... Yeah, I, I relive it in my brain every night. It's okay. 
Well, uh, with anyway. that, uh, yeah, so uh, we're going to uh, go back to a quick break here. Um, hopefully those uh, uh, issues between the teams are sorted out soon. We, you know, we can hear them actually working on it right now. Um, but stay tuned. We'll be right back with you guys. And, uh, again, get ready for a great game because we know it's going to be good.
trying hard, but you wanna be my friend. Ain't no place to hide, ain't no one to run to. Here we go, here we go again. Call my bluff, I'ma be here till the end. I'm the one you ride, I'm the one you ride to.
like I've lost you floating into space All the things we've been through are fading into blue I was dragged to Neptune just to love you Unbind here today, uh, we're going to have uh, uh, the Monmouth Falcons versus the Old Tappan Golden Knights. Yeah, so uh, we finally got started. All those issues were figured out. Uh, both teams are uh, good to go now. Um, and I'm already enjoying the lineups we have here. I mean, I think when you come to competitive competitions, you start to see uh, some similar uh, groups of characters and agents being used. But I I'm definitely seeing some new things that I like. Yeah, I definitely like. We saw uh, KO a lot. Uh, the Bulldogs played KO last, Select last your time. Agent. did great work against WPSD. Um, I'm not exactly sure which team is attacking and which team is defending, um, if we could be told that over the earpieces. But right now, I love um, the, this lineup right now. I love that both teams have an omen. Mm -hmm. It's going to be great to, great to see. Omen's omen. a character that I don't get enough of, personally. Absolutely. Omen is my personal favorite. Um, I just love his all around his abilities, how his smokes go so far. He's great for holding down objectives and great for just getting in places you don't want. Uh, just getting in places that your enemy doesn't want you to be. Yeah. I, I, I do... Uh, like to see the new character on um, Phase. I believe. Um, yes. Uh, Phase on the uh, defending team. You know, Fade. I, I love Fade. Um, Fade. That's yeah. It. I added a Z. I, 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 I'm sorry. I can't help it. I do love the letters. Yeah. Phase. There you go. Uh, but no, yeah, uh, amazing abilities. I remember uh, Aiden was calling one of her abilities Shadow Kirby, which mm -hmm. I have picked up. Um, Shadow Kirby. Shadow Kirby. Uh, we've been uh, messing up today. Oh, we're. Don't don't worry about it. There's a couple of buffoons. A couple over of here. buffoons. You know us. <laughs> but I, I do agree with you though. Um, I think it's an accurate way to describe it, but also it uh, it is a cool ability. Um, yes. Just in terms of its actual mechanics and also its aesthetic. So you can already see the cipher there, really uh, setting up those devices. Making I mean, his defenses down. I mean, that's that's the best way you can do it. it it's easy. I feel like a cipher to uh, to try to consult, like put all your devices in one spot. Um, but I've found that it's actually better if you really try to throw them out, um, just get them uh, in places the enemy wouldn't expect. Yeah, uh, <laughs> a, a, a foreign here who is playing uh, uh, 
Jet, we, we didn't see Jet, and Jet, this is an odd mask to pick Jet on. Um, mm -hmm. It's not that bird. Like, we would see uh, Jet really shine in about Icebox or something yeah, like that. Yeah, for sure. Not in a map like this. This uh, this is definitely more suited to a KO or some or someone like that mm -hmm. that can hold, the, that can take these wide angles. Maybe one thing it might be useful for here is like, uh, uh, like uh, the jet getting a kill and like yeah, like I said, pops back really Foreign. quick. Foreign very accurate with the with the sheriff taking a, a quick couple kills down. Um, Omen planting now. The three v three that uh, shadow bomb Spike there. Planted. That angle. Um, I always like, yeah, I love when uh, I see uh, Sage. Uh, last player standing. Devil, but um, I love seeing a Sage on teams like this. Um, I think it's almost like a backbone. You need to have a sage to for the wall, for the res. It's just a, a sage is something that you always need um, for that for crunch time. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and especially that healing ability. I mean, especially in games like this, you, you just don't get that with any other characters, right? Yeah, uh, only yeah. that and uh, Phoenix, who can only really heal himself. So it's just necessary. Yeah. You, you just need that. Um, but I also do enjoy uh, Sage's ability to put, I mean, we've seen it with WPSD Comets in the past, Sage's ability to put down walls and then get into sneaky areas and get a nice peek on somebody. Yeah. Um, you know, it takes a good player to see those those connections and then do it. Um, so I've, I've always enjoyed seeing that. Yeah, because by looking at these two compositions, I'm really seeing that uh, the attackers are more based for uh, flanking. Mm -hmm. uh, like, like flanking around and doing things like that. The defenders, however, I, I, I think they're going for a bit of a niche uh, Play style. Well, I mean, I'm sorry, forgive me. The attackers are more like uh, base. You would see, you got, you got the well rounded. You got all the, all the corners, all the layers. Spike of the down A. Um, the defenders here, they have, uh, they look like like a flank, like a flank ready team. You know? Yeah. Last player the standing. Were, uh, yeah, they were pummeling there. I mean, uh, and it was right away from, from the get go. They were just pushing it back. Yeah, you see that a lot. Um, like with with these more like well-rounded team compositions, they, they they tend to shine earlier on in the game um, as the other team kind of gets more ready of what their strategy plays into. Because um, I definitely like by looking at these heroes, I see what they're probably gonna try to do. Yeah, right. But right. I they need to like get that down and figure out when they're gonna strike and how they're gonna do it, mm -hmm. um, or else they're just gonna keep getting rolled. It's interesting because I, I feel like, at least from my perspective, defense is easier. Yeah. Um, because you, you kind of just have to sit and wait. Um, yeah, you gotta hold that short, you gotta, you gotta look around, you gotta just wait, you gotta make sure your actor's on point. Boombot going out. Yeah, but I think almost attacking gives you more stress. Because you gotta watch those corners, you never know where anybody is. You have the potential of getting knifed in the back and buried yeah, soon by right. Twizzy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Twizzy's ultimate ninja move and yes. sneaking around, yeah. Uh, so the route, very condensed right now. Um, I do enjoy that team support you have, but again, any like area of effect or like well-placed headshots will take out the entire team. And with some great well-placed smoke wow. by the Omen. Wow, really getting aggressive yeah. in here. Oh, but backing up into two of the defenders, not even knowing where they are. Those smokes playing against themselves, but it looks like the attackers have secured the point now. Yeah, defenders easily pushing that back. I mean, it's a it's an even fight right now. Um, the uh, the Rays is lacking some health, but I mean, that was deep for a push that quick. That was a very good reciprocation. Yeah, it is a 3v3 right now, but by looking at the minimap, we see that, that the attackers are really surrounded by the defenders. Mm -hmm. Only one left Last now. player standing. Wow. Rays oh, versus... Uh-oh. Oh. oh, nice for the defenders. And Plenty that, of time to defuse, yeah. Yeah, that lack of health there is what got them. Um, yeah. I mean, and that, that uh, they were both doing very well, and I was surprised at the uh, defender's ability to hold that off. I mean, I really was. Like, Yeah, they put themselves kind of in a strange situation mm -hmm. because the attackers were so aggressive with their smokes and so aggressive with just how, how fast they wanted to take B, but in that aggressiveness, they almost got lost. Like, we saw, a, 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 I believe, two of their uh, teammates kind of get lost in the smoke and not know where they were. Um, and they backed right up into two of the two of the defenders who quickly took them out. And they did end up taking the point, but they almost were too fast, like too quick, and didn't think about it. And then before they even knew it, they were surrounded on all sides by the defenders. And uh, something I, I think that was interesting in that fight specifically- Get out was, of my yeah, way! Yeah. Because I, I think for a map like this, Boombot going out is gonna be useless, that's totally fine. Um, I don't think I told you yet. Boombot got a kill last week. You're kidding. Boombot got that bloodthirsty little guy got a kill last week. For anyone who doesn't know, we love we relentlessly make fun of Boombot because it just runs into a wall and explodes. Exactly. And I think I had a mini heart attack when it actually got its first kill last week uh, on WPSD wow. team. I love I that actually. Wow. Okay. I'm energized. Yeah. Um, oh yeah. Utilizing I that told window. you it was the best game I've ever seen. <laughs> 
You, okay, you, I, I like the utilization of that window, but immediately got taken out. Got a double smoke um, there with the Cypher and the Jet. Yeah, I mean, I find that they, they keep dropping each other in pretty even numbers, so it's a 3v2 right now in Defender's favor, but like I've always said... they're going to rotate around to A now, kind of giving mm -hmm. up B. With a special tactic, this can be easy, easily dropped to a 2v2 again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it looks like, like the Defenders are still thinking that they're going to come to B. They're definitely going to get a plant off at A now. Um, yep. Defenders are going to have to quickly uh, rotate over. Spike planted. Dropping that area of effect. Just going to hold that corner. Yeah, fast response by the Defenders flying around up the back towards A. And I like that. It's like uh, it has the Sage's back there. Yeah, they are holding a great angle here. This is going to be hard to defuse. Some fade ability is coming in now. Got some close quarters combat. Defenders oh. are getting very aggressive trying to take out the two attackers left. I mean, fighting will probably one like this enemy is never easy, but... Ooh, wow. Okay, that's a, it's Trading a one back and one. forth. Oh, wow. Cypher taking out the last omen. We have plenty of time to defuse there. It was a great, uh, it was a great uh, idea uh, rotating to A to plant that, but yeah, I wow, mean, the defenders got really aggressive really fast as soon as that spike went down. When, when you're down uh, by one person, you know, it's a 3v2, you got to try something special because, you know, typically running in there and just trying to kill the enemy team won't work. Um, so you know. yeah, rotating was probably the right choice there, and I mean, they did a great job holding, but... You know, it's just about can they break through that level? Yes. Absolutely. And this is what I was talking about earlier, how the playoffs are just a new level. This it's goes only here. four rounds, and I think we've had more talking points so far <laughs> than we've had in, in a few games. Um, this is what I'm talking about. It's a whole new level, and I'm already on the edge of my seat. Yeah, uh, I, I agree. I mean, I, I'm really enjoying the uh, the fights that we've had because they feel so even. Yeah. Um, just really like, you know, one person, an attacker goes down, a defender goes down. An attacker goes down, a defender goes down. And a reminder for the rules of the playoffs, uh, ties are not allowed. Mm -hmm. So we're going to keep playing maps until one, oh, well, I, it's going to go to map three. Uh, it doesn't go beyond map three, but we are going to have a winner here. Yeah, so if there's not a winner within two, then it'll just have to go to a third. Yeah. Um, which is honestly pretty scary, I mean. Yeah, that's how it went last week. It was a hard-fought uh, uh, defeat from WPSD mm -hmm. taking on the Bulldogs, because I believe it was Bulldogs won map one, WPSD uh, sneaked out a win in round two. And then it was a back and forth uh, with eventually uh, the Bulldogs taking it. Yeah. And wow, I was on. I was, ah, man, my heart rate was going. It was. It was. It was a fast-paced <laughs> game, but it was probably the hardest fought one I've ever seen. Wow. So right away, attackers just losing people. Um, the defenders easily have the upper hand you here, will but they not just lost kill. one. Uh, one like was enemy a res, remaining. Uh, the sage Spike uh, down B. Oh, and Team quickly taken down. That's, that's just that way from the res. Yeah, that was that was a bit chaotic there. I mean, there was you know the rays came back and then the sage got taken out and then the KO was all that was left. But I mean, ultimately, I think the defenders just pushed in. Yeah, the defenders already have uh, everybody but uh, but one having their ultimate, which is wow. Um, I know. Omen ults are scary. Um, oh yeah. Oh, They're yeah. my personal favorite, just because uh, you can, it, you're can you vulnerable for a while uh, while you're teleporting, but if you just teleport to the right spot, like maybe right into the back of their spawn as they spawn, then you can easily, with a quick spray, take out the entire enemy team and get, get an ace just like that. That's I, why I, I think, love Omen. Well, I think Omen reminds me of Reaper from Overwatch. Absolutely. Bit, like just an aesthetic, but also that, that ability. I mean, the reason I, um, I do enjoy Reaper is that he can teleport behind the team. Mm -hmm. And I think especially in a game like this, getting a couple good headshots or even lowering health is so, so, so helpful for you. It's all you need, yeah. Yeah. Uh, right away, very quick plan by the attackers. They're very, they get very aggressive very quickly. Oh, nice, nice of the enemy omen. Very quick accuracy. One enemy remaining. Wow, right away. Wow, I thought the attackers had that yeah, for a while. Yeah, me too. Um, I mean, when you have two very even teams like that, you know, it's it's going to be hard to defend, but it's also going to be hard to push forward. And I mean, absolutely, the defenders these teams are both very aggressive. Yeah, that's what I'm noticing. Yeah. Um, these are probably this is probably the most aggressive uh, defense I've ever seen. I think um, as soon as that spike goes down, they basically turn into a basically go off. I, I think that's pro probably also uh, just the level of play we're at, you know? Yeah. Where you, you know the map so well, you know your teammates so well, and just having to do quick uh, analyses of the enemy team, you can move in faster and be more confident. Yeah, you don't really have that time to waste. Mm -hmm. um, you kind of just got to get in there, guns ablaze it. And it's, it's like you said, um, it's, it's actually interesting because... Um, you notice that, uh, like you said, th there was actually that, you know, the, the attackers were doing very well in the beginning. And they had this like, one round and then another round. They weren't taking many losses, but now it's been completely flipped. The defenders are now at four wins and uh, the attackers are at three. Yeah, for clarification at home, uh, the Falcons are defending and the Golden Knights are attacking. Right. 
Um, so the uh, Golden Knights here immediately losing uh, three members of their teams. That's a 3v4 now. The Jets on very low health, but I mean easily doing some good work for the team. Um, our camera going through a portal there that didn't exist. <laughs> One <laughs> enemy remaining. Okay, wow, so this could flawless. be flawless. Yep, there Oh, it is. A nice flawless victory. That was, that's nice to see. Now, now, that's interesting because the Falcons, Falcons are number 12 in the season, and the Golden Knights are number five. And we've had a, a plenty of upset victories yes. already throughout the bracket. Um, it's very early to call, obviously, but we may have another one here. Yeah, uh, and I think uh, what's interesting is a lot of people are very quick to say, like, oh, this match won't be good because it's a you know number one seed versus a whatever seed, right? Yeah. But I mean, in any in any sport, right, including esports, you know, you, you can never judge a team too quickly. Oh, absolutely. Um, for for reminders, uh, WPSD last week was number four, and the the Bulldogs were number I believe twelve or twelve or thirteen, and the, the Bulldogs gave WPSD the greatest run for their money mm -hmm. I've ever seen. Yeah, so the, uh, the, the, the Monmouth Falcons here, uh, they're, they're going to push forward with the spike, um, trying to get through that window again and blocking it up with the, with the smoke. That window is dangerous for attack. But when you have Jet flanking on the side, it makes it very good if you catch anybody in that corner. Absolutely. I think we're probably going to see an amazing flank kill. Very aggressive uh, plant again. Planted. So the uh, the Falcons move up quickly, easily pushing all the defenders into this one. This is dangerous here. The, the enemy, the enemy. Yeah, you don't want to ball up like that in a doorway. Okay, but just trying to push through. Um, one like, enemy uh, remaining. Oh wow, wow. taken out on that hallway. Yeah, they they do great. Um, almost like a SWAT team clearing out <laughs> clearing out a, a building. Yeah, they you just know, it might make you nervous, but I mean, when you're even when you're clumped together like that, there's just more fire. Team yeah, Ace. I think we saw the Team Ace. Wow. Um, so I think what we saw, uh, for a while they were kind of just like standing in that in that hallway. Mm -hmm. I think that's kind of those call outs. Like, oh, okay, I'll go in, I'll look right, you guys look ahead. And we, we see that, like almost like a SWAT team. They're all watching their yeah. section and they take out their guy. And it just it, it just dismantles an attacking team so quickly. I, and I wish we were uh, able to tune into their comms or something every now and then because you, you know for anyone who like is not too familiar with esports or just gaming in general, like those callouts are everything. Communication is key. Yes, because yeah. you know you get taken out by some guy and they're gonna follow through and get your friend next. And telling your friend he's there is the you know the difference between winning and losing a match. Oh, it looks like. Uh, uh, a BJP with an op taking out the enemy KO from across the like across the hallway. Mm -hmm. We love snipers. Love, we snipers. love snipers. If you're good with a sniper, you can do some serious damage. Oh yeah, especially when that's an op. Uh, mm -hmm. For those who don't know, an op basically takes like is a one shot kill of anything above the waist, and it is terrifying to know when your enemy has it. So it looks like uh, they're flanking here. Maybe gonna try to pincer uh, some of these enemy or some of the enemy uh, members there. Yeah, very split up. Mm -hmm. uh, three of them here going up towards mid. Perhaps going up towards B? I don't know. Most of the defenders are at A. So it's a 4v5, but that can be dropped easily. So it's just a matter of playing their cards right. Now, Sage has a... Whoa! Wow! Okay! Went to peek for a grenade and one shot from, I, from the enemy omen. I know, I spoke a little too soon. I mean, I started talking and they just got blasted back, uh, oh through boy, the corner. Oh boy, that's why you don't risk it. Wow, and going in for the plant in the middle of a bunch I of fighting right now. I mean... Uh, some of those defenders are trying to push through, but that smoke is keeping them at bay. Just gotta risk it for the biscuit. Um, Cypher here, trying to hold back. Um, gonna plant some devices there, but uh, yeah, definitely taking their time. Trying to buy time for the yes. rest of the team to rotate around. Um, almost seeing a similar situation. Uh, they are, again, kind of surrounded, but oh. no one was ready for it. One and now it is a 1v1, very similar on health. Uh, so that spike is still counting down, though. Says by the fade. All the omen, all the omen has to do right now is buy time, and he was oh. flashed and still got flashed. the kill. He couldn't even see. Wow, that no, that is called intuition. Just trying your best to make it work. I mean, he couldn't even see. Evo, props mm -hmm. to him. Wow. For anyone, yeah, for anyone who doesn't know, that sky threw a flashbang and then jumped around the corner to get the jump on this guy. He, without being able to see, still, still got, got the him. Kill. Wow, that's and why I love the playoffs. That is the best example of higher level play. I mean. You, you don't see that in the casual games. You probably saw, like, just, just by like looking at like when he got flashed, he probably saw like a frame of mm -hmm. where she was going before before losing his vision. And all you could really do is like, she's probably going this way, spray and pray, and you got him. And to be fair, they were both on very low health, so I think yeah. it, it got lucky in terms of like anywhere they hit them, they mm -hmm. would probably do some damage, but still, uh, getting that win is, is great. For yeah, them. absolutely. All right, so again, the Sage with the spike. 
Um, and typically, you usually have one person who just carries it all the time. Bit of a daisy chain now, keeping because that, that's what I like to see. You you want to move in in a big group. I believe when uh, when uh, I was casting with Eli last week, he great he got he gave me some great insight. You always want to move at it as a group, but you don't want to ball up. Right. Because one grenade from a from a, a raise or a rocket launcher from, from a raise or anything from a raise, but um, can really take out a bunch of you all at once. That, I like that uh, that from the knights, just that little daisy chain maneuver. Keeping it keeping everyone at a distance while still being close enough to help. So Cypher doing good work there, taking out two of the Falcons right away. Rezzing four in here. Oh. Get Rez to get oh, taken down. Get, wow. Picked up the spike and instantly got One shot by the oh. I love it. It's a red, blue, red, blue, red, blue. They're just trading on and off. Yeah, it makes my go my heart go. <laughs> <laughs> So now they're planting the spike. KO, or I'm sorry, Omen is the spike um, planted. Uh, Omen last again, one same exact Falcons. point, same exact part. Oh, over at A he planted, I see. Yeah, so um, we have an Omen and a Fade on the defending team, the Golden Knights. They're going to try to move up towards that spike, but uh, this the Falcons' Omen just has to really hold tight. Yeah, just like the last round. All you have to do right now is play for time. Nightmare mm -hmm. takes them! Uh oh, oh it's get a nice the side. from the side. Nice. And he's able to do Amazing. it. Clutch is right. A three piece for that Omen. See, that's the thing, it's risk reward because you just don't know what angle they're gonna hold. So you gotta try to push up. And in that case, they just didn't check that corner and got taken out because of it. Yeah, the Knights were struggling on, on offense for a while, but it seems they're really kind of picking up the speed here. Uh, KO's gonna take that spike, a great choice. KO's kind of that, that backbone of the team that you always kind of want. Um, being able to shut down abilities like you can. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and I, I also uh, enjoy, I really do enjoy, and I know I've mentioned it a couple times, but seeing that jet, um, now, the last this last play didn't really work out. The jet moved forward quickly and got taken out. But um, I think, like you said, on a map like this, it's not very vertical. Get out of my way! To jump to. No, yeah. However, if you're able to make use of that mobility and keep your trigger very, very focused, you can get some good kills. Uh, we might oh, see wow. a couple flanking kills right now. They are watching their corners very well, so yes. I, I wouldn't be surprised if... Boombot! Boombot, you missed it! Oh, oh, and the jet, yeah. And that's why you always watch your corners. Right. The jet just, uh, you know, good idea, great opportunity, but, you know, just happened to... So many smokes going out all at once. Omen after omen. Now, the very quick thing, spike plant. I see nobody's interested in ever walking into the smoke. No. Um, and no, I wonder no. if that's a feature of most teams. Maybe like. We saw this strategy used by WPSD quite often uh, on this exact point, holding it with the Sage Wall. Oh, oh very close quarters wow. here. Wow. Oh, it's the knives from her oh, ultimate. Oh, boy. And the, yeah, the jet. Um, pretty much fading them into that hallway and then quickly taking them out. Yeah, with that, with Last those ultimate knives. I love it. Uh, wow, yeah. Golden Knights definitely, def definitely finding their mojo here on attack. Oh, wow. It oh, looks like we're going to have a timeout. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, attackers calling a timeout. Wow. Okay, so initial impressions of both teams. Oh, wow. So um, definitely, wow, what can I say? The Falcons are amazing defenders. Uh, both teams are so aggressive in their own way. Um, I originally thought it was going to be the opposite with the, with the Falcons, kind of with their team, kind of played more towards the, a flank. But no, we've been seeing that a lot more from the Golden Knights almost. Uh, the flank's not exactly working out that well, but working nonetheless. Yeah. Um, I love seeing how quickly they can react. Because mm -hmm. I believe we saw it, that Omen just watching out. All the Rays did was kind of peek out with the grenade and then just bam, gone. Oh my god, we weren't even ready for that. Um, operators coming out so quickly. Usually we don't, you don't see it until the end of the game. Oh, wow. I, the best I think I can say, both teams incredibly fast-paced. Yeah, uh, and which is also something I enjoy. Um, so we have five seconds left in our timeout, but I agree with pretty much mo like everything you said. I, I think what really sums it up is the fast pace. Yeah. Um, you when you have uh, teams that are so comfortable with one another, you really get that like they just expect everyone to do their part. Mm. Um, and I think in this case, you really can see that, um, especially with everybody. Yeah, checking your corners, watching those angles. Um, but I do think when it comes down to individual performance, everybody is able to hold their own. Yeah, so now this is going to be the last round before the swap, which um, it's been very even even so far, mm -hmm. but you never know. Once the swap happens, that can kind of how a game shifts because you never know. One team may just be great on, on both attacking and defending, and one team may just be kind of better at one side. Yeah. So you never know. You know, I, I did mention that I think defending is, is easier, but I, that can so easily change. Like, it's just so dependent on the person. Absolutely. So they're going very slow here, very, very slow. Um, not a bad thing. They're just definitely trying to make sure they don't get a, a, a 
taken out by a sneaky angle. Yeah, you, you never know. I'm like last round, last round. Oh, oh, right there. Yeah. Just the op is so like awesome to see. I love that op. And gets their sage. So that's that healing factor taken away. Yeah, and usually I, I, you're, they're lucky the sage didn't take the spike. Usually you want the sage to take the spike because usually they sit in the back and are usually the last ones to exactly. die. Exactly. Support character. Yeah. For sure. But the Rays has the spike here, uh, so I'm wondering if maybe there's going to be some sort of push. Maybe they're trying to... Definitely. They've been, they've been planting very aggressively mm -hmm. so far, so I wouldn't be surprised. Um, they also have their ultimate, um, the Rays. So we're going to see uh, who's going to get blown up by a rocket launcher. 30 seconds left. Today. <laughs> Which, I mean, who doesn't love seeing someone get blown up? Uh, we, when we see uh, at least a three stack on a Rays ult, I always have to jump out of my chair. I know. Okay, Jet using Whoa, that, um, very. Wow. And flying and across the map, getting very aggressive. Goes into the smoke to conceal their landing. And I here like comes that. the plant. Looks like they swapped the spike over the KO. Another great choice planted. of having it. Defenders, ooh. Get a grenade. Oh, up ult's there. coming out. Oh, I'm missing. Oh, no, oh, getting two. Okay. He got two. He got two kills. I thought I thought I missed for a second there. I know. I was, I was a little concerned. I was focused. They, they were trying to get uh, a grenade Last over the high ground standing. and then the rocket launcher. Attackers should be dismantling. Oh. Probably trying to make it six to six before the swap. It's basically perfectly even. Omen is flashed. All right, let's take a Oh, oh and yeah. He's coming around that corner and Great getting taken out. Amazing. All right, so six to six in the swap. Probably the most even game we've seen yeah. so far. Switching right. sides. I know. Um, that, I, and you got to think it's pretty remarkable. I mean, it really is the pinnacle of, hey, these skill or these teams are so evenly matched <laughs> that we're going to have a hard time like getting to a winner. I, I mean, I will not be surprised if it ends or if it's going to have to go to a third map. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm expecting to see a third map here. Um, well, you never know. Uh, the, the swap is where we really see the mojo of the, of the other two teams. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, wow. All right, yeah, so Falcons on attack, Golden, uh, Golden Knights on defense. Let's see how this goes. All right, got 15 seconds left in the buy phase. Uh, a lot of classes coming out. You, you know, you, there's no harm in saving um, the credits. I'm usually, personally, I'm a favor for taking the Ghost, because I think the Ghost is by far the best sidearm in the game, just before its um, accuracy and the ability. Yeah. I believe we saw... Um, a couple weeks ago, I think still my personal favorite, uh, that pincer maneuver uh, between uh, Prod and Spy, getting uh, four kills wow. just purely with the ghost, all they needed. Yeah, that was the automatic pistol right there that got that first kill. All right. Um, against the save, so again, they lost that healing factor. Only, only the Omen could left to defend B. Uh, he did great so far, but yeah, that that that's gonna be an easy plan. Mm -hmm. 3v4, everybody's on full health right now. Uh, the spike has been planted so that it adds a time limit, but uh, they're gonna have to push through the smoke. The boombox boom coming, coming out. Coming out. Will it do anything? He's bloodthirsty. No. 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 <laughs> no. no. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's see. So that omen is kind of just sitting in that courtyard. I mean, I was a little nervous for him. Um, oh, oh one yeah. One the omen, remaining. but then quickly, wow, two people. Okay, three kills in a row with the ghost. Yeah, Falcons, wow. Very good, very good attackers. Very good. Um, and I think that might be that strong start we saw at the beginning of the game. Mm -hmm. uh, they started very strong. I like that spray. I do. <laughs> was that the jet? Yes. Yeah. I, I always thought jets were, uh, had a very specific personality to them. Yes. People who play jet. All right, all right, all right. A uh, lot of spectres coming yeah. out. It's good SMG. Um, I do, I do find that a lot of teams are averse to using a shotgun. Mm -hmm. um, and that, I guess, something that makes sense if if you need, you know, a lot of the kills in this game rely on long range. Um, but I've always found that if you if you like to rush. Uh, then a shotgun would just be the most effective. At close range, it would just take out someone right away. Yeah, we saw last week. Uh-oh. Oh. oh Actually, there's a shotgun for you right there. I don't think she even noticed. Oh, and a, and a, a shot through the door, eight. but it was just a little too slow. She did get the omen behind mm -hmm. the behind the sky. Wow. Um, but yeah, what we saw last week, definitely with uh, the problem with shotguns was they're great for quick kills and, and great for rushing. But once it like like uh, it comes down for the wire and the spike is planted and the guys kind of behind a short, you're not really going to get them. Yeah, exactly. Um, so I always like it if maybe you grab a shorty. Uh, shorty? A sh yeah, shorty maybe just keep on the side in case you need it. But uh, yeah, a judge or something like that, it, it's very situational. Looks like they're moving through the building right now, jumping through the window, um, and they're going to try planting. Wow. Okay, so I mean, it makes sense. You got you have the, uh, the, the team advantage here, or the numbers advantage. Um, Gonna move through the building, probably just checking their angles. They're meeting up with their jet, yeah, but there is someone in there. Expecting those, those rotates. Oh, and right away gets taken out. Everybody knew where they. Uh, everybody knew. That was a, oh, one ah, enemy two, remaining. Uh, big flash there. Mm. That's something I like to see, um, because we saw it a lot. Uh, the, the knights had no problem getting the spike planted, but what it came down to is that um, 
Falcons rotated so quickly and so um, effectively that basically their attack just got dismantled and the spike got defused. Mm -hmm. They did the same exact thing that the Knights did. They got it planted, but they immediately pushed their rotation route, like almost yeah. cutting them off at the source, um, which I think is is, is where um, the Falcons kind of are picking up more rounds than the Golden Knights. And I, like we said, I, I think it'll. Um, I think this will definitely go to a third map. I mean. You know, if it doesn't, it'll be exceptionally close. But uh, do you think we're going to have another um, kind of revival for uh, uh, the defenders here? Well, I'm expecting to see it. Um, like, I remember uh, two rounds when, when the last time before it kind of became more even. And I, I'm definitely expecting uh, the to pick something great back up. Yeah. Uh oh, that old, wow, has, that old just has to get out of there. Pursuing through the smoke, keeps going. Um, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, again, in the yeah back of the he's got a double team there. Uh, so there's still five people on the attacking team Move here. Move the hallway. They're gonna get pinched if they're not careful. Wow, right, right away. That jet One moving up. Remaining. Oh, and just gets taken out right in the middle. So that's all that's left is the stage, and the attackers win. The Falcons are kind of running away with it now. No, I think they're gonna have to change if they want to bring it back. Mm -hmm. I, I think I think something that's interesting is that we we've noticed. The defenders get taken down um, in like very small increments, right? It's like one, and then two, and then three, and then four, and they kind of just push their way through. So maybe this kind of stacking, this, this grouping up is better. Yeah, because we've been seeing that. Um, almost because uh, on both sides, the attackers have got have had no problem getting that spike planted. And that's mainly because you kind of have to, there's two points, you kind of have to split your team up. Mm -hmm. um, and when you're playing this kind of strategy of just, all right, we have five of us, run at them. It, it really works that way because you're already outnumbered when that happens. And right. especially when the teams are this good, you're just going to get killed super quick. And then it's left for the rest of your team to figure it out. Oh, wow. That's that right away, yeah. trying to get that verticality over them and immediately getting killed mid-jump. Jet is taken out by the jet. The shadow curve we talked about going on a little quest. Spike has been planted. So right now uh, we see the attackers actually have less um, less agents than the defenders. Yeah, great spot for that spike too. Now the raid here, sticky situation, reversing. Wow, and a nice head. Wow, shot. very fast. Oh, and he would splash too. Boy, and look how quickly they turn that around. Um, the defenders really just uh, putting the pressure on and dropping. The Last but player getting. standing. Oh, shot oh, mid. Trying to save that. Oh, but they have plenty of time. I really thought it was going to get fully diffused. Hold on. Oh, yeah, no, they have plenty of time. Um, but, you know, I think it's, it's rare to see um, the spike get planted with still all of the defenders still uh -huh, alive. Right. <laughs> and I, I also I thought that was a moment where we were going to see it get diffused completely while there was still a good portion of the other team. True. true. I mean, um, I don't think we've ever seen that. No. It's, um, it's always just been fight to the death and then deal with it if you have time. Yeah. Which is my personal favorite way to deal with things? Fight to the death. You know, you have, you have a problem with a guy at school, fight to the death. Uh, coworker. Yeah, coworker, fight to the death. And then whatever comes after, and we'll deal with it, right? Exactly. Right. I think those are words to live by. Somebody put that on a t-shirt. Connor and I are awful, and you should not listen to us. We're not. <laughs> Don't take our advice, please. All right, so we're, okay. um, <laughs> so we're moving into the next match here. Um, honestly, I think this, I don't know if I really am convinced of a, of a revival from the defenders here. Yeah. Um, I mean, that match was good, but the, I think the attackers did take some risks that allowed them to get taken out easily. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, wow. Uh, wow, I, just, I, so, I say it every round, but it's just so incredibly aggressive how they get this spike planted every time. It's, it's almost baffling how fearless they are of just charging headlong into it. Now, it did cost a member of their team, I believe the Jet. It did cost their life, but um, they are still holding that position. And, uh, oh, somebody's got an op. That, yeah, uh, yeah. Jet on the Knights has that holding that long angle with the op. That high ground is so <laughs> good. Um, especially true. when you're trying to, you know, when the enemy's kind of picking in one area. Just trying to play for time. Knights really have to get that defused. Mm -hmm. I, think, I think they both teams know exactly where the other team is, but they just struggle Last getting there. Wow. Standing. Defenders taking out Yikes. three attackers right now. Oh, right in the behind with a shotgun. <laughs> Defenders left with three people on the floor. Oh, boy. Although they, get, they got close. Woo. That was close there. You Skinny saw your teeth there. Yeah. yeah. Love it. So a, okay, so maybe I, I stand corrected. The yeah, defenders are, are easily getting two wins here and are only one behind the attack. Yeah, the Falcons kind of ran away with it for a little bit, but for the last two rounds, the Knights have been picking up the slack, so I like to see it. So they're moving uh, up now. I do like that there's a jet on both teams. I do enjoy seeing the combat between them. Um, okay, looks like the jet here is an op. Which is great, because uh, Jets can get easy verticality, but also Jets are a duelist. They kind of want to get up in there. 
So uh, it, it's a bit of a strange sight to see, but I like it nonetheless. KO is gonna hold that angle. Get out of my way! A, a cheeky kill. And that's like the most vital short there is to hold. Like, I, like, like Twizzy, we saw holding that a lot. And it, it, it's honestly the most vital. That's that's the route that the attackers have taken to get that plant every time. So you have wow. to kind of create that bulwark there. And yeah, just reciprocating. One, two, three. So now it's four v three. And they're already planted. Yeah, well, you literally can't give them any time. You really have to. Like, if you, if you want that spike not planted, you have to create the most solid defense of your life. Uh, no, I was gonna say wow, a lot of, lot of smokes coming out. They do not know where that omen is. Right in the back. That jet was uh, on the box there was in trouble, and they we saw that. They got taken out. Yeah, so. wow, that omen backed right up into... Um, gotta watch out, that, uh, out though. That omen spot, that standing. KO's body will explode eventually. One so enemy uh, remaining. Okay, it's a two, or a 1v1 now. Maybe that full health is faded at um, that spike is plenty of still time planted. left. Uh oh, actually, it might not might Maybe not have that have much, much time, time left. Wow. At this point, you might just want to save the gun. Oh, all right. Yeah. There's, there's no point. Yeah. If I was that fade, oh, yep. Well, they're not saving the gun there. If I was that fade in that situation where I had so little health and that little time to defuse, I would have just tried to save the gun. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, you know that they're right there. They have an angle on you. There's you gotta just pick and choose. Yeah. Um, okay, so we did. Um, uh, unfortunately, the defenders did not get another round as we thought, no. so the, the attackers are up to 10. Uh, ultimates are being held. Um, a lot of ults about to come out. I, I'm gonna. I'm expecting to see them at like round 11, I think. Yeah, yeah. Where we, they were just really trying to buy themselves an edge. Um, the jet stabbing the air, great tactic. Um, you gotta show the air who's boss sometimes. Yeah, you gotta I mean, make sure the bolts fly your way. If you want a certain dominance, you gotta do something. Gotta right? stab so, the air. Uh, okay, they're all coming out now. Wow, a knob firing right between them. This one's always put a little bit of hair in your chest. Yeah. Seeing that off, that off fly right past you. Let's see the jet moving up quickly, but easily getting taken out. So, uh, the jet, um... Holding wide angles. Yes. That smoke is really hurting their ability to move Yeah, in yeah. Uh, let's What's see that's about to happen here? Sniper is really going, is staying cautious. I don't know if they're going to stay. It's a mix between aggressive and, and like almost defensive in a weird way. All right. Shoy Boy right now here is love just, I love that name too. I had to say it when yeah, I saw no, it. Yeah, I, I understand completely. Yeah, Choi Boy, a great cypher. No, no flanking here. No, no flanking at all. They're just gonna try to move up that center, and maybe they're trying to just distract them. And they've never been Falcons have never been this slow trying to get that plant before. So just to show the props for the the nice defense right now, kind of watching this short. It's that vital short I was talking about last round. You don't want them coming through, and they just go through. And ooh, there's that. There's that. Almost like spot team like um, dispersed that we saw like a couple, like, so many rounds before. I, I like that there. The jet put a, a big uh, uh, cylinder ooh, around them. Fade used her ult and then taken down very quickly by the enemy. Uh, oh, I, I like the jet I've style of putting trail. down a cylinder and then putting down another smoke to protect them. I mean, ooh. having. Oh wow, that grenade uh, getting in there. Oh wow, nice shot. That that uh, I was I was I was skeptical. Ooh, uh oh, we lost that off there. <laughs> two but, uh, two now. Like I was One saying, I was skepti remaining. skeptical having that uh, that uh, uh, jet taking that off. But uh, wow, he was very quick and very uh, efficient. I like uh, I like this. The rays, seeing if there's anybody there to stop them from defusing. There's no way. No way. There's no, no okay, way. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, that was. Oh no. <laughs> I was like, when I saw there was a them Last defusing, I was like, that. I believe that happened in, a, in a maybe two games ago, though. Mm -hmm. So we were both very surprised at that. Um, but no, when you have a 2v1 like that, you get in such a weird position that you just have to do Just try your best. Yeah. yeah. Like, Roll the dice. If you're lucky, maybe maybe somehow the enemy team is, is having a picnic somewhere else. Um, oh, wow. The Sage, uh, maybe going up towards the high ground. You know, and that's something I think teams need to utilize, is the high ground. Yeah. Um, we've seen that a couple times. Um, yeah, up there especially. Having you, that angle on that entrance to the courtyard. You really just have to take a page out of Obi-Wan's uh, handbook and take that high ground. <laughs> Speaking of which, uh, gotta watch that show coming out. Oh, I, right? <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I've, I've been told the first two episodes are very good. Darth um, Vader's in it. <gasps> yeah. Really? I Sometimes know. you just gotta take a page out of Darth Vader's handbook and just beat people up. Use the power of the dark side. <laughs> Fade is very good at that. Um, let's see though, they're, okay, so again, fighting in the courtyard, the jet, putting down that wall just to block off that line portal. of sight, yeah. Oh wow, I love that gun. Uh, I believe it's called the Ares, oh no, it's, yeah. It's I know exactly Odin. where you are. And uh, 
Just pray and pray, baby. That's all, that's what it's made for. <laughs> it's pray and pray. I love that. Because I mean, sometimes that's all you can do. Yeah. Um, but the Rays taking out, uh, or getting taken out after pushing up pretty far. The defender's low on members right now. Mm -hmm. The Falcons um, are kind of running away with it. Only yeah. if they win this round, only one more round until they take this whole map. We'll see that save as he's definitely trying to stick back. I'm um, gonna be one enemy keeping. remaining. Wow, never mind. Uh, that KO is getting a nice headshot on and him. And seeing the face of Orange here, we, we saw him a bit earlier, a bit more focused. You're kind of having that slump down in your chair moment where you kind of realize that things aren't going your way. And I mean, that Sage, you know, did the best Match they could. Point. But when you're in a tight hallway like that, people surrounding you on both sides. Why I'm not on the defenders. I, you kind of have to do it if, 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 it's, if it's match point. This is match point. So they're going to need to win, um, what, 9, 10, 11, 12? Five? Yeah, to win five in a five row matches, if they want to yeah. win this map. So uh, that's going to be very important for them, but I can understand the timeout. I mean, as a coach, you know, you still have one map left, but uh, listen, th this can go on for a while. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, I can speak from experience um, having a solo cast that one game where we went to round 37 of overtime. 37. 37. Insanity to me. Yeah. I, I could not be there. WPSD uh, taking the win, though. Um, yeah, surprisingly. I mean, that was it was a hard-fought victory, and so... We were very proud of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I, I do, uh, I am very eager to see uh, what actually happens here. I mean, I can definitely see uh, one team running away with it in the next map, and I can also see both of them kind of clawing for that victory. Honestly, if I had to put my money on it right now, just from seeing um, how the both teams were playing, I'd say that the, that the Falcons are going to take it. Yeah. But that's purely just because I see them as more of a well-rounded attacking and defending mm -hmm. team. The Knights have been doing great on offense, but since they've switched to defense, they really couldn't pick up the flag. And it's interesting because the Knights um, are actually seed number five, while the Falcons are seed number 12. We've had plenty of upsets already, mm -hmm. so it's, it, I'm not, I'm not going to be shocked if the Falcons take this. Exactly, yeah. Uh, so, Mario, the Falcons weren't even supposed to be in this tournament at all. I know. Yeah, we had a bit of a bit of a mixed bracket here, but now now that we're here, I mean, I'm honestly very happy with this lineup. Yeah. Uh, it's it's shaping up to be a really good game. Oh, absolutely. I'm I'm on the edge of my seat. Uh, just the playoffs have have not disappointed. God, and the attackers here really holding that angle. They're they're trying to not let anything get past them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Putting out a flash thing there. We're in the floor. It's okay. It's all right. You, you never know what's going down on down there. <laughs> uh, okay, wow, and like, back you know, and like forth. always, Last back and forth. Wow, defenders, defenders running spike picking up whatever they were talking about in that in that timeout. <laughs> the, it, it's working. The spike carrier, or the, the sky, the spike carrier is the only one left, and it's a 1v4. Flash and run in, maybe? That's, that's always my favorite tactic. Mm -hmm. Flash and run in. Flash and run in! Flash and run in, and can you do it? Nice Takes quick shot. out the omen. Okay, so that's a one B. It doesn't lose any health in the process. Take it down two. Ooh. Oh, and in the back, trying to get some cover. Yeah, trying to run away there and just gets taken out while they're fleeing. Um, yeah, this guy could have clutched it. All I right. mean, it's always difficult, but it you know when you have to run and turn your back, that's pretty much the best. Thing. It's kind of one of those things where you kind of want to be in the room where it happened. Uh -huh. I want to know what they were talking about in that timeout because whatever they did, they really changed up their tactics there to win that round. So yeah, now it's a 12, uh, 12 wins for the attackers and nine for the defenders. They only have to win some four more matches, mm -hmm. um, which is doable. It's yeah, very doable. Trick, but uh, still, they have to be so careful not to let anything slip by. That's something you can, like, even when you're winning and it's match point, you kind of almost, in a weird way, kind of start to fumble yourself because you're like, why, aren't, right. why isn't it over yet? <laughs> we should have just won. You kind of play a little too aggressive and it kind of gets yeah. you into trouble. It's that feeling of, okay, well, we got to win one of these. Yeah. Wow, the race. So you run out of these. <laughs> okay, so Sky, not sure if they want to move up. That smoke giving them giving them hell right now. Troy Boy um, trying to get a get a bit of a, a bit <laughs> of a smoke Boy, out. Yeah. Troy Boy, I love that gamer tag. It's way better than mine. Mine's just Stranger Elf. Yeah, mine, mine's yeah. just a play on my name, which you know, <laughs> I could have thought of something better. How can we joke at a time like this? I'm sorry. It's so tense. All right, so there's still a 5v5. Omen has the spike, which is a bit of a change-up. Nobody but... has drawn first blood yet. Still, the defenders are very swapped. It looks like they still don't know where they are because mm -hmm. the other two haven't rotated the B yet. Now we're just waiting for one of them to make a move. They all look eager. Jeez. They all, oh my god, they all look eager to start moving up. Um, yeah, if I was them, I would actually go all the way around. Because the, obviously the defenders don't know where they are. I would go all the way around and hit them from behind, but uh-oh. There it is. Yeah, Jumping very outnumbered. Wow. Four very in quick that same and maybe we'll see the end of the map. Left. Oh boy, okay, so you can see them getting taken out. Knights are quickly responding. Instantly the spike goes down. Knights are on defense now. 
they already were. It was but. a 4v2, so if they are able to play their cards exceptionally well... That Sage right has a rest, and using it to get the get Thorin back up. Wow. This is going to be an interesting little match here. Uh-oh. Putting out a smoke to block the line of sight. Out, pushing out, right behind the omen, maybe. Uh -oh. Watching the wrong angle, unfortunately. Uh -oh. Oh, oh, man, that omen's going to come around the rest? Just, oh no. <laughs> that Sage does not have enough time to defend. Confused. Okay, the Sage getting one. But that's the spike. Yeah, that spike is way too far gone at this point. You might as well try to get out as many people as you can. Yeah, but at that point, it doesn't even matter. You're not keeping the gun next round. Oh. oh. And there it is. The attackers. attackers Falcon's win. taking the first yeah. map. Taking the first map. Now that is, I mean, that was a very interesting match there, but... Uh, I really thought that Omen was going to get taken out, but at the last second, he moved around the corner yeah, yeah, yeah. and just got uh, the jet. Um, wow. So, okay, let's see the stats here. So. Let's take a look at some kills. All right, uh, so not as many kills as we saw um, the first map last week, but the Sky, Sung, Ho Sung Hoon, taking uh, 23 kills. Most, yeah. most kills of the game. Nice, I like it. Um, now, you can actually see the defenders, um, which is interesting enough, but the, the defenders, the, the knights, um, have four people at like the very top of the leaderboard. Yeah, uh, ac no, actually, I believe, you know, the, 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 the blue is oh, the I'm Falcons. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah, the, no, the yeah. Falcons. Yeah, the Falcons have... Um, Just to show kind of how they kind of ran away with this yeah. game. Knights are at the bottom. Knights are, you don't really want to see your team down there, besides Choi Boy, who's really just playing support himself. Yeah. Who wasn't really going for kills. The Knights are really just kind of hanging out at the bottom of the leaderboard, which is something you really don't want to see your I team mean, at. And when you really, when you see uh, something like this, where um, you have so many members of just one of the teams at the top, uh, you can really tell that like the team makeup and, and like what it is. Yeah, BJP taking seven first yeah. bloods. Definitely the most aggressive player. In the like game. I like I said, that jet, that mobility and moving forward quickly is, is really helpful. Yeah, like I said, Choi Boy kind of very slow on kills themselves, but but he was definitely playing that planter mm -hmm. support route, route, which is where he made himself most uh, help. All right, and, and wow, uh, two diffuses on Sung Hoon, tied with Choi Boy for the most diffuses. Definitely, wow. Great, great first map. I agree. Um, I, I was actually very pleased with that. I mean, the the uh, they ran away with it at the end, but really that was, I mean, I think they were really both fighting for it. Yeah, before the swap, it was, it was wow, probably yes. the most even we've ever seen it. Uh, and two timeouts, so I think that's the most I've seen in a match. Ooh, um, just taking a look at the score here, the average <laughs> score, the entire team up there, ooh, not what you want to see. Well, listen, hey, there's still another map and possibly a third map, depending Very on who true. wins. So um, we, we are going to see more of this, but uh, stay tuned. We're going to take a little break, um, but we'll be back in a couple of minutes ready for the next map. All right.
Welcome back, everybody, to the uh, second map here. So it looks like we're doing split. Um, and I'm excited to see how the teams actually change. I see a Killjoy, uh, possibly there's a Chamber. Um, so I'm actually wondering if they're going to try anything different to take the win here. Yeah, definitely. Well, we already see um, the, the Falcons here swapping out uh, one of their, te their teammates for a Chamber. Uh, if I were the Knights, I would change up their team comp entirely. Because mm -hmm. after losing that, that map, we already know that it's not going to work. Yeah. All right, so we see uh, picking up a Sky over on the Knights side. Everything else kind of remaining the same. Picking up a Killjoy as well. Trying to, trying to decide between a KO or a, or a Raise. Uh, and I, I do like having a Sage on both teams. It's not locked in yet, but um, I, I do still enjoy uh, having them there just for the uh, healing aspect, but also putting up that wall and just that maneuverability. Yeah, this is, these are some great team comps all around. Uh, Knights have really changed up a lot. Um, yeah. Yeah, no, this is going to be interesting. Uh, Split, too. Split's a great map, um, just because of how many wrenches it throws in the way, um, with how far apart the uh, sights are. Yeah, and I think that's something that people forget about um, the game, is that there are two sites, so a lot of people usually go to one site, mm -hmm. because it's just like the easiest or most comfortable with it, but like, you know, there, there are two very different sites with different terrains, so if you go to one over the other, I mean, that can easily determine how your team plays. Oh, you. yeah. We're moving up here. Um, I love that. How players like stab everything as they run. Yeah, you, you gotta pass the time. You gotta also keep the knife sharp. It just makes me laugh so much because it's <laughs> like you're just stabbing the box and the wall and the bulletin board. You gotta show them who's boss. <laughs> um, so, okay, now I've always been skeptical of Killjoys because uh, the way I see it, Killjoy is not the best character. I think Killjoy is definitely, I mean, her role is actually as a sentence. So like holding one spot, you know, being beneficial to the team rather than just individual. Yeah, and I was talking to actually Eli about that last week, and he said he brought he brought up a great point talking about just how how well her ult is and how um, interesting she can be when you're actually on defense. So sometimes you just gotta stick it out with her through attack for to really thrive on defense. Something I enjoyed there is the <laughs> attackers just blasting through that sage wall. Don't um, get this out of here. They were just they were crazy with it, uh, but they're moving together, and that's something I think is difficult. For this oh wow! Right between, taking out right away. Yeah, losing a lot of attackers here. So Killjoy still with the spike. One they're still alive. Wow! Now they're the last one left. Um, Jeez, and that flawless okay. victory for the Falcons. Yeah. Good job. Falcons looks like they're going to be taking that first match, um, and that was, I mean, that was pretty dramatic there. Uh, th there wasn't much competition. I mean, most of the Falcons were still on full health or very close to full health, uh, and and it didn't. There wasn't much fighting. So no, I, I yeah. hope that doesn't uh, demonstrate the rest of this match because <laughs> uh, if that's the case, it'll go very quickly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Sage taking the spike, most reliable way, uh, way to person to take the spike. Usually you want your stage to die last. Um, <laughs> Hopefully they don't die at all, but if they are to die, last. Last. <laughs> uh, okay, so immediately putting up a wall, blocking the It's gone again. <laughs> but last it right doesn't through. matter. He has a firing squad back there who will just pummel through it. That sage taking a gamble staying up that far. Gotta brute force it. Um, okay, throwing in that area of effect, just trying to guess where they'll be. Slow them all down. But uh, they are holding back at those stairs. Um, oh, someone's got to get shot in the back. Trading shots there. And it flash bangs in a second. Oh, but wow, still take out the sky. The on the there. Deep. Having more guns, yeah. Yeah, the attackers are still running with mainly pistols, kind of snacking that specter there from that sage. Yeah, so that that uh, they did, they did get overrun, but however, they did get one person on the attacking team. So. Yeah, the knights are changing up their strategy. Last round, they kind of just ran in there after blasting through that wall. Now mm -hmm. they're taking it nice and slow. Yeah, moving through that side area. Looks like they might be rotating up towards A now. God, and they're so grouped together, it makes me nervous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so moving up, holding that angle, going to try to push forward on their own. Um, the Rays taking a bit of a gamble. Okay, wow, but guess is right and gets that angle on Still them. flash. Ooh. Oh, yeah. almost. Still like, flash trying to take out the sky. We said it a hundred times, you know. Oh. Wow, right from the side. Trying to throw out the flash, but not even letting it phase mm -hmm. him. We've said it a hundred times that, you know, if you're in a firefight with somebody and you miss that first Spike shot, the chances of you dying are, you know, go up dramatically. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. you have to hit those shots, and if you don't, you're just going to get taken out. You know, I, I always panic when I get flashed. Just, like, start moving my mouse left and right and just, holding down the like trigger. Like you said, spray and pray, yeah. just fire. All right, One so of them will hit him. <laughs> a 2v2 right now. Um, another stage Last wall going up there, standing. but it doesn't look like it's doing much right now. So it has the high ground there, which is, uh, that's the turret. 
which is actually interesting. The turret's not very strong, but it is good at pointing out where the enemies actually are. That's true. So the chamber, wow, Ooh, uh, nice gets right taken out. So that's a, a one, one win and one win for the, the Falcons and then the Golden Knights. Got to keep it like that, one to one. So this actually might be shaping up to be a much more equal match than we thought. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's interesting to see um, if or how much these character changes actually affect the gameplay. Mm -hmm. um, I think that Killjoy turret, you know, if there was a lot more fighting, could have been useful. Um, but I'm excited to see Killjoy's ult, especially. Yes, yeah. Uh, that lockdown of an area is great, especially when you have a plant going down. Um, because when that plant's like like just like ticking down and then the whole entire area is locked down, just uh, throw in the towel. So on the on the screen here, actually, you can see our amazing um, editing people have put in the names of the uh, schools, so you can actually tell who they are, mm -hmm. um, which is very helpful not only for us but for you guys at home. Um, so the attackers right now are Monmouth and the defenders are Old Tapa. Um, it looks like Boombot's going out, doing absolutely nothing. That's totally fine. We love him anyway. Uh, <laughs> pushing through, that raise is going to try to hold that angle. Oh, it has the high ground and a good angle against them. If they can utilize that, they can get some of the defenders out. Taking the plant. Spike All right, planted. wow. Plant's down. Let's see where this goes. And there's that Killjoy turret hanging out on that wall right there. Um, it's it's definitely <laughs> Yeah, right taking away. care of that defender. Oh, and actually, wait, did it? Oh no, yeah, uh, raise up top. Okay. Flash, flash, and still got back Easily took some health off of him, though. Um, definitely made it easier for that raise to, to do their work. Oh yeah. So that sage wall is, is a good barrier there. Um, definitely blocking off a whole angle for the uh, old happen right now. Yeah, that raise has some work to do. Yeah. Uh, I, if, honestly, don't really have a gun to, just a sheriff now, so not really a gun to waste, but just, oh. Oh gosh. Flash, no. oh yeah, that was a yeah. bad, that really was, rough situation. Trying to, trying to catapult themselves in there, but getting Flash right there, hitting the <laughs> top of the ceiling, not really going anywhere at all. Yeah, yeah. just kind of getting pummeled by it. A little abilities. embarrassing, but that's okay. Now, do you know where this map is, like geography, or geographically? Uh, I do not. I do not. Do you have any guesses? It reminds me of uh, Japan almost, mm -hmm. um, like kind of uh, urban Japan, but I'm really not sure. Um, I just, I, but I think part, a huge part of the game and its appeal is the is the aesthetic and the setting. Yeah. Um, and I think it's good to appreciate every now and then. Just that how almost futuristic look of our modern day. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Right. Um, nice, we're moving in. Yeah. Sorry if I just nerded out over the. No, setting. you're all good. He's a geography nerd. I am. Yeah. I do love geography. Uh, Vatican City. That's just a nation I know. It's a little small city. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Um, so they're moving up here. That smoke is giving them trouble again. Everybody here has been very hesitant to move through that smoke, and I think WPSD Comets, it's a very big change from them because they were not afraid no. to move through that. Just like um, walk right through. What are yeah. they going to do, shoot me? <laughs> uh, so, so seeing a team that like doesn't really want to do that is, is very odd, but I, I can understand why. Uh, okay, so Sage throwing that area of effect kind of puddle bomb um, through uh, the smoke there. It doesn't look like it hit. So that sage wall does go down. Yeah, so. that defender there really holding that, mm -hmm. holding that zone. Moving up the stairs. Okay. Bit of a pincer. Wow. The Ray's getting two good kills um, on the sky and the uh, the sage. Yeah, the knights are getting destroyed right now. Yeah, they're gonna have to do some work here. Everyone's looking really good on health. Oop. That omen went down and. Uh, <laughs> eh, well, don't listen to me. Um. <laughs> But no, wow. Okay, Evo planting. Spike planted. It's a great spot to plant too. Yeah. Easily defended. Uh, that high ground always makes me nervous. But if you want to get, you, if, in order to get to that spike, you got to get off the high ground. Yeah, Sage so. has that spot mixed with her alt. Yeah, that that's deadly right there. Not not alt that wall, but oh, the Ray's using her wow. using her mind to boost Last up onto the wall standing. easily, and the the Ray's and Chamber work together to simultaneously get kills. Okay, that Chamber is at an advantage right now. You yeah, know, if I was that Sage right there, I would be I would be upset because I there, I was thinking I, me I was watching it like there's no way anyone's passing that wall, and then the the Ray's just uses her mind to just bounce right over it. And that, you know, that is unfortunate there. I mean, the chamber, I, he knew there was nothing he could have done. He had to defuse. Yeah. And um, that really just is, I mean, in that scenario, That's the way you it don't have a Yeah, that omen did the right thing. They had The omen had much less health, but it did the right thing by hanging back, waiting, and then when he had to defuse, taking him out. Yeah, uh, for, yeah. Excuse me for my for my term here, but the Falcon the Falcons are kind of vibing right now. Vibing. They're kind of just vibing. Um, that's a, that's a taking it taking it very casual. They're they're really uh, kind of running a, running away with it already to start. Connor, you're ostracizing all of our viewers that are over twenty. <sighs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry that you're over twenty. Um, sorry, you're so old. <laughs> <laughs> I think we just. 
I think we just lost some viewers. <laughs> uh, okay, so that, uh, hey, typical um, omen smoke going out right there. Um, I like this guy putting out uh, a flashbang. Gonna see if they can get anybody, maybe just spot someone from the smoke. I think they're rotating through the sewers over towards A. Uh-oh, not a lot of defenders wow. over towards A. Yeah, so they, they might get a clean here if they can... Uh, yeah, easy defense right here. Yeah, okay, so got the sky. So the sky's out, so now it's a 3v4. Um, yeah, they're gonna have no trouble getting this plant off right I, now. I agree, yeah. Like we said, when you have two sites, that's two possibilities to plant. Spike mm -hmm. planted. Um, Hey, and now we have the, the names in a better font, but also the school logo. Very similar logos. Yeah. So I like the yellow and black. Okay, wow. Okay, so they traded oh, traded again. Um, and Okay, I can't even... This is what I love. What I can't happened? Even commentate. <laughs> I don't even know what happened. You just hear... I just said they died, they died, over. <laughs> Round done. All right. Well... <laughs> Honestly, that would make our jobs a lot easier. Well, let's let's skip all the fancy details. We're just gonna say he died mm -hmm. and they won. We'll only chime in uh, when someone dies. We'll just point it out. Mm -hmm. Other than that, we'll just be Jolly Ranchers and stuff. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Monmouth. I mean, like you can see right away, just easily ranking, uh, raking up those rounds. Um, I mean, uh, old happen. They need to start moving forward. Yeah, if I was GSC, I would be very happy that yeah. I brought the Monmouth into in, into this tournament. Because they're honestly putting on not only a great show, but they're showing that they deserve to be here. Right. I think they're both really good teams. It's just the difference between that, like, extremely high-level play. And that's something you also have to think about. Because all the other teams here, they really had to, like, really... Well, that's not, not to say that the Monmouth... That Monmouth the, the Mama Fal Falcon did not, mm -hmm. but uh, all the other teams here really had to like work in to get in this bracket and just kind of being like, handed that opportunity to, <laughs> to join the tournament, you really have to show, I belong here too, and they're really doing that. Exactly, I agree, and I, I don't think GSC would have offered it if they didn't think there was something there, right? Truly, yeah. So, so really this match I, is a great opener for us, especially just, you know, uh -oh. as, as analysts really. So good. Right in the head. Wow, and Yikes. you took them out, and that's the danger of moving around that smoke. You just don't know what's going to be on the other side. Yeah. So that chamber is waiting for Oh, that goals. chamber ultimate taken wow, down two. Wow, two kills. Double, just bang, bang. That's what I like to see. It's a 3v3 now, and that was an excellent maneuver on I the think chamber. He still has, I think he still has a few more in the uh, chamber. Connor, you make me sad. I know. I'm it was sorry. good, but you make me sad. I know. So they're moving towards this point here. It looks like someone's gonna. Or, oh yeah, okay. Chambers trying to get that high ground. Very good for him. He still has about two more shots left. Probably around two more, and that's plenty. So the Spike sage planted. is just planted. Oh, he needs. oh, and there's the the killjoy ult, um, putting down that anchor there. Uh, I, if I was them, I'd actually wait a minute to put that down. You think so? Well, yeah, because because uh, the, the closer the closer you use it, that that's exactly why. Yeah. The closer you use it to actually before uh, the spike detonates, like that basically just solidifies your win. So I would have waited a minute to actually alt there. Which is not, a, I think, now that I think about that, that's a pretty good idea. Mm -hmm. uh, I, was, I was really surprised there how quickly um, the Falcons were just kind of executed in that. Like, I mean, they were holding that corner, and it's it's a weird one to hold, especially with all the angles of, or all the ways of getting inside Definitely. of it. Definitely. But I was surprised by how quickly um, the Golden Knights kind of pushed through like that. Yeah, the Knights' chamber really did a great job taking oh, out two yeah. of the attackers so quickly with his ultimate, and then really just applying that pressure by what, by holding that high ground. I think there's some instances where you really see players shine, and, and some you know some are good at close quarters, some are really good at popping their smokes in sp uh, specific places, but that chamber clearly had a good handle on his own yeah. in the long range shooting. All right. That sage wall goes up. Doesn't matter though; it's immediately broken. Yeah, just kind of keep. I like I like it when it's uh, consistent. Mm -hmm. uh, that so that uh, omen smoke goes out. They're now they're pushing through, and I think they know exactly where they're going to be hiding. So they're going to try to get the a jump flash on them. Come right around this corner. Uh oh, oh be careful! Right be careful! There. Yeah. Oh, oh wow! Looks like they traded a little bit. Yeah, three kills in quick succession. I love that because you know you can tell that they know exactly Spike where the person's going to be on the other side, mm -hmm. and that I think was just a matter of trading off players. Yeah, you had to get rid of, you had to sacrifice a player. When you have, yeah, when you have a pince like that, like mm -hmm. a pincer like that, you someone's going. Right, you just have to be like, you have to take out your guy and hope that it's not you. I'm sure if you were on comms, you would hear the like, all right, I'll go, and if I die, you just get that guy. All right, the chamber has to clutch this now. Yeah. Um. So uh, kind of in a weird spot. You can't really take out one without without getting killed by the other. So yeah. I, I, I kind to... of chalked this up as a loss for old Tappen, but you never know. He's gonna have to draw them out somehow. But I mean, oh, taps the spike to try to try to get them to push. Boombot. Oh, uh, but before the boombot even gets there. Boombot. You didn't even have to worry. He did actually roll right to where he was. Yeah. It was just he was dead when he got there, so it didn't matter. <laughs> 
I have a picture. Beats, he just explodes anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I have, I have a, horse. a picture of Boombot on my wall. I pray to him every night before I go to sleep. I have a few candles that I light for him every mm -hmm. now and then. Some incense, yeah. Make sure that, just make sure that he's pleased with me. <laughs> uh, but we love, we love you, Boombot. Um, yeah. So I, I am actually, I'm not surprised that uh, the Falcons are starting to take it a little bit. Um, and I do expect, I think we can all expect that couple rounds uh, here and there won by the Golden Knights. Um, yeah, it's it's hard because when you're number five in the seed, you kind of don't really want to lose to number 12 in the seed. Mm -hmm. And after you lose the first map, it's kind of hard not to get a little, uh, I don't, don't want to say butt hurt, but... Um, <laughs> Kind of, kind of in your own head about it. Like, a little, and, and a little angry, right? Yeah, a little angry, a little upset, a little nervous. You want to, yeah, right. I think nervous is the best word to describe it because you want a chance to get in there and prove yourself, right? Because now you already lost the first map. Now you need, now you know that you not, you don't only have to win this one. You have to win two, another one after mm -hmm. it. So that already puts you at a disadvantage and almost affects your play. You're <laughs> right, playing. Yeah, yeah, I agree. We're moving up very condensed right now, typical of the Falcons. Uh, Ooh, right into the slow, but yeah. that that rocket launcher is out. Seem to distract them really. Oh! Wow! A three kill! Three piece. A that three is piece nice. chicken nugget for you to take home. That's that's a new one, Connor. Thank I've, you. I've never heard that one. I don't know. It just kind of came out. <laughs> no, I get it. I understand. Yeah, wow! Somebody mustard on that. And two kills by the Omen. Uh, wow. The, the Golden Knight with, Omen. Fast with the sheriff. Jeez. I, yeah, and I've always said the sheriff's hard to get good kills with. Mm -hmm. um, but if you if you land those shots, so you know we thought it was over with that uh, with that raise kill. But I mean. You know, Omen got a two-piece, and honestly, that may be enough to get them. They, yeah, well, the the Falcons are kind of just spread out enough to make this impossible. Yeah. Wow. Oh, wow, that raise. All it took. Yeah. Raise for a fourth kill. Yeah. If if uh, that Killjoy didn't step in there, that that would have been that raise's ace. I mean, that and that's tough. Moving in through that that uh, corridor like that, you know, it, it's never a good. Situation. Oh no. Yeah. So that that was great on both teams. You know, I'm I was very happy with that with that raise kill. I mean, it was. It wasn't even Anyone that cheap. Something? No. Like it, they didn't sneak up. They didn't. They just fired it where they thought was best, and mm -hmm. hey, it happened to work really well. Yeah. All right, two to six. Old Tap and Monmouth. The, the Falcons are really kind of running away with it. Now we apologize if we're pronouncing Tappan wrong. Yeah, um, I, 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 I'm trying my best. This is how we all pronounce it, and and we, you know if it's something different, and anybody from Old Tappan is watching, we're sorry. Uh, leave us a comment. We'll fix it. Maybe it's Tapan. <laughs> Tapon. Tapon. I actually, that makes it more sound like fantasy. Like, old Tapon. Old Tapon. Ah. Uh, okay, so right away we can see the Rays drawing its first blood here. Um, Falcons wasting no time taking out one of their players. No, no, yeah. No, no, yeah? No, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, sure, yeah. No. Um, okay, wow, the Rays getting a little risky getting up on top of the wall, but it doesn't look like there's anyone back there. Spike yeah, wow, they all beat. immediately rotated. Uh, and they just moved Have right over the war the right there. So that sage wall is again forcing them to kind of go One into the straight corridor. I'm oh, very wow. accurate with that. The defenders quickly make, are making quick work of these. A lot of abilities flying out. <coughs> Excuse me. And the defenders win with three people remaining. Wow, amazing. And and I did notice that the the um, the Falcons there did try to do a little rotation rather than just move forward like they have done in the past. Uh huh. Um, now it, it looks like. Um, only three more rounds until the swap, mm -hmm. and the swap was really when um, Old Tappen really kind of lost that, uh, that, yeah. that evenness that it had, and they started losing more rounds. Um, we're going to see if that happens again, or maybe they'll actually be the opposite, and they'll start picking up more rounds. Yeah, maybe it's just a matter of which side you're playing for, Very like sure. you mentioned at the beginning. Yeah. Um, I do like uh, the, the new lineups of, of agents, though. I was a little hesitant at the beginning, especially with Killjoy. I've never been a fan of Killjoy, but, but honestly, watching them them use Killjoy, like the character, I've warmed up a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of ultimates being held right now, too. If both those ultimates have their ults. That could be big if they're used right. I mean, and having ultimates all at once, like that's the definition of a, of a winning a game right there. Mm -hmm. Because if you are match point and you all pop an ult, I mean, there's what are you going to do? Right, yeah. There's very little the other team could do to, to deflect that. Mm -hmm. So that uh, Sage is holding that, that nice high ground they've created for themselves. Um, going to make it hard for the Falcons to move up that central corridor. But like we saw last game, they and did try to She has a shotgun rotate. too, so ready to yeah. come around that corner. Yeah, so. Good night, friend. All right, Sky is going to have to be very careful. Ooh, kind of, oh, not, doesn't Giving quite Giving yourself away there. Uh-oh, flashed. Wow, and making quick work. Flash is taken out, yes. that's all you can really do. Using that flash to their advantage, quickly getting in there. Um, so the Falcons, a five-person team still, moving towards a three-person team. They're, I know they're itching for that nine before the swap. 
They're itching for nine rounds one. This has all the making, ooh, I was about to say, all the makings of a flawless round, but that sky making sure that doesn't happen. 30 seconds Orange left. planted. Spike planted. Okay, so the spike has been planted. They've tucked themselves away in that little corner. Very hard to get anyone out of that That's corner. That's a great defense right yeah. there, because that's all you can do. So that, that chamber and the sky are going to have to do some pretty interesting maneuvers here to uh, try and win this, but I don't know if they can do it. Yeah, the only real way you can get these guys out of here is either through like an AOE attack mm. or some maybe a flash and like some really lucky, lucky shoots. Right, breach shot, through the shots. wall. Oh, yeah. Shoots. Shoots. <laughs> shoots. I was ready to move on. I didn't even notice. You got to aim your shoots. <laughs> Oh, and they're Let's watching the wrong right angle. Back. Oh no! And, uh, just and you know, in this game, you gotta just four piece for the raise. You gotta just choose and be confident with it. When, when we see this, when we see the stats at the end here, I'm pretty sure that raise is gonna have a high kill count. Um, something that's that's uh, very nerve wracking about this game is that you you really just have to choose an angle and hope you're right. Because, mm -hmm. like we saw, a lot of it's about sacrifice. You know, you you and a teammate move up. You both watch the side. One of you's gonna get taken. You out. are blood brothers at that point. Right. Yeah. So you got to be ready to sacrifice yourself in order to get one of their members. Um, and in that final scenario there, Chamber just faced the wrong way and, and <laughs> paid the price. Yeah, that omen is gonna. Try, maybe he's, he has a he had the shorty out, so maybe he's gonna try to hold that. <coughs> maybe not. Uh, gonna sit behind that box there. It's, it's a good lonely. box. Yeah, it is. I've seen better boxes. Yeah, but I mean it's pretty sturdy. Yeah, I think. Okay, so we're gonna move up that central corridor again. The same smoke coming out. Um, yeah, it's been very similar every round. This this uh, yeah. this mid. The sky mid uh, holding a, a, an odd angle, but I think it could definitely work if the uh, if the uh, Golden Knights get a little too reckless there. Yeah, the gold, the Knights are definitely doing a great job at, at denying this uh, this middle ground here. So only two more matches, or I'm sorry, two more rounds until the swap, um, where they'll switch sides. And I know that the Falcons want to get to nine. Yeah, it looks so. like the Falcons are just kind of giving up that midpoint, just mm -hmm. rotating around to A. So at that point, really, what can you do if they have it locked down that tight? Let's see. Our camera guy's doing some good work today. Great work. Moving quick. Um, Give him a raise. Why? <laughs> None of us get paid, but... I don't know if we have the power to do that, I was going to say. Um, okay, so the sky moving up, going very slow. Um, but definitely, if you're doing a flank like that... Wow, okay, immediately joined by two members of their 30 team. 30 seconds uh, left. They were 5v5, five five, so it's an even match. But they're... Oh, watch that splash. Oh, wow. Wow, Just right away. Yeah. Yeah. Taken down. And the sky doing some major damage, taking out the chamber and the rays, but gets eliminated um, very quickly after that by the other sky. Yeah. Oh. I love the sky and her ability to flash. It's, yeah. it's definitely earned a lot of kills. Ooh, right back left. res by the uh, by Orange. Spike planted. Spike planted. Yeah, only six is. seconds left. One enemy enemy. Enemy. Wow. Okay. Quick response by the defense. Oh, they're all dead. Yeah. Oh, they're all gone. I know. Right. My my reaction I think exactly. I blinked and they were dead. <laughs> so that that was just one of those matches where I think you, you get everyone clumped together so fast that like you really just don't know what's gonna happen. Um, but that is Last unfortunately they, the, the, uh, the Falcons cannot get to nine before yeah. the swap. So the best they can settle for is eight, and even then they're gonna have double the uh, the Golden Knight score. Yeah, still. All right, last round before the swap. I, I love the swap because that's when we really see the medal of, of each team and see how much they've changed. We really see if it's if it's genuinely like a, a which side you're on problem or if it's a just you know difficult or a skill level yeah. um, problem. But they're all eagerly waiting at these plasma gates. Don't know what they are. Yeah, it's the plasma gates. I like, like plasma grape. gates. You think it tastes like grape? Oh, it's more bluish than purple. I'd say I'd say like a nice blueberry. I would say purple more than anything. I don't, I don't like grape flavoring. No, I don't either. It tastes like corn syrup. Yeah, it kind of gets me. It get, like it gets stuck in the back of your mouth, and it's like a whole thing. <laughs> I'm sorry to everyone watching this. <laughs> put, put it in the chat whether you, you like grape soda <laughs> no, or not. No. It's very late at night, um, and we're you know our brains are a bit fried. But uh, <laughs> uh, this, I mean, honestly, this match is ramping up, so I'm getting energized. Me too. Um, so the sage is just biding their time in there, which is something I like. Like you said, you don't want that sage to die first because their ability to heal is so powerful. Um, but the, the the Golden Knights, their sage has been pretty forward. Oh yeah, the whole game. The rays joining her there. Um, nobody's really left in that central area, but that would be a great opportunity for them to flank behind. Wow, a lot um, of the defenders yeah. over at B, but a lot yeah. of the attackers are going up towards A. So we're gonna see probably another quick. Quick dismantling of the defense and a, followed by a very quick. Oh wow, they're they're already rotating. Yeah, they're really trying to get over there. And I no mean, time the, to waste. The great thing is that I saw that sage watching her. Look at that mini map. Oh god, that's chaos. 
This is what we saw last game where it was just the kills were happening too fast for us to even commentate. Nobody on the has lane. drawn first blood. Wow. Never mind. And the, the Golden Knights, their Rays getting a two kill with their own. They sneak a defense. Wow. Oh, they can probably the, just sneak a defuse here. The, the Falcons easily reciprocating. All that's left is the Omen. Can he take out both a Rays no, and a he Chamber? Can. No. Wow. Five to seven going into the swap. Let's see how this goes. Maybe, maybe Tavis will bring it back. Defenders really, really Switching doing a good job uh, getting some getting some one rounds here. Yeah, wow. I am I am like all around surprised at the skill level on both mm -hmm. sides. So now did they swap? They did swap. They did. Okay. Alright, so old Tappan is on attack now oh, yeah. and Monmouth is on defense. Alright, yeah, so on your screens that's uh that's not gonna be clear. Oh it is still the same. It's just is swapping it? colors. Yeah. Oh that's what I thought. Okay, that's what I thought. Um yeah I was gonna say I was gonna I was actually gonna be like why would they do it like that? <laughs> this way and I was you know I was wrong. Um sorry folks if that's a lesson in humility then take from it what you want. <laughs> If, if you ever need a lesson on humility, ask Adam. Yeah, He's I been, get, this, I this, this guy has been humbled more times than any. Hey. hey. <laughs> um, we have fun here. We have fun here. So they're all waiting now, but now this is what's going to determine, is it uh, something that they're just better on defense or better on attack? Yeah, true, true. Oh, wow. I love I love that uh, that ability that Chamber has to be able, mm -hmm. be able to aim down sights with pistols. Wait, it's, you, you wouldn't think that's as good as it is. But, but like, ADSing in this game is like a lifeblood. Uh -huh. Anyone who's played like Call of Duty or something like that would understand that mm -hmm. it's just very powerful. This is a weird um, little hallway they have right now because, oh, right. Ooh, wow. and, uh, I didn't even see that. The race just immediately takes them out. Great work with the ghost. All right, oh, so I'm avenging his teammate. Put down the area of effect, just trying to keep him out of that tunnel. Let's see where they go from here. Well, Cameron just had a seizure for a second. That's okay. Trying to move up, uh, hold that very weird angle there. Um, it seems like a pretty even match right now, especially with that the Golden Knights Omen uh, very low on health. Yeah. And Mammoth is down a man. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. Down Mammoth. more men. Yeah. <laughs> the Falcons losing a lot of people very quickly. Um, yeah, the Knights are the Knights are getting more aggressive yeah. with their uh, with their assault now. Okay, it looks like they're already playing. One enemy so not remaining. Not a bad strategy. Um, wow. And wow, four kills geez. for that raise. BJP having the most kills on their team last game. It's not even that they're they're getting these these or they're winning these rounds. It's just how quickly they're doing. Mm -hmm. um, you really notice how uh, how quickly these these uh, the Falcons are, are falling um, when they are pushing forward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so I'm really trying to see now um, if the uh, Golden Knights can pick it back up because. I mean, we we could go into a third map, and that would be pretty crazy. That would be pretty crazy. It definitely, it was it was a hard fought war last mm -hmm. time. Well, let's see if the, it's not over yet. It's too early to say. Let's see if the Falcons have anything up their sleeve. I have lost my mic. That's okay. Connor's lost his mic. Um, he's gonna try to put it back on. <laughs> They're on these little clips, and they fall off all the time. Don't so. mind me. All right, you back in it. All right, wow, the spike is being planted. The Falcons are down one person. Um, so that's not going to help them at all. <laughs> but like we've always said, a 5v4 can easily be, uh, be brought back. It's not a big deal. No, yeah. Um, okay, so really not much pressure right now. I think they're all just trying to get into position, but there's not much shooting. There's not much pushing going on. That sage wall really doing the great work. Yeah, really, keeping that high ground away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, One man. enemy right remaining. away. Okay, so BJP there's... taking out all these kills. No. Both raises on both sides are just taking, are just getting all mm -hmm. the kills. And that is a flawless victory for the Golden yeah, Knights. Yeah, maybe maybe the Golden Knights are better on assault. Mm -hmm. that, that might just be what it is. Uh, however, we've seen several times. I mean, you really just can't tell until it's right match point and you're you know fighting tooth and nail. I do like that knife skin. That's just a sword. Yeah, right. I know. If you think about it, a sword is just a big knife. There's actually a definition, like, there's there's actually a definition about, like, what can be considered a knife and what can be considered a sword, mm. um, but I don't actually remember it. I think I think a knife, you know how, like, the handles are, like, the metal is clasped between two pieces of wood? Yeah. I believe that it has to, in order for that to be Oh. Well. Whereas a sword is just, like, a hilt. Well, when I go home and get my butter knife out, I will promptly <laughs> put it between two things of wood and make myself a butter sword. <laughs> yes. Uh, okay, so we, we see them coming in there. 
Um, definitely clumping together. Something we haven't seen before is moving up the left in a group like that. No, oh, yeah. Uh, we've seen them move through that central corridor, but we haven't seen them go to the side, and this provides some excellent high ground over the site. Oh, wow, that's great. Oh, that, that sky is flashed, but I don't think they wow. even know the sky is there. Looks like the Tri Falcons. Double killed by the Omen. Yeah, looks like the Falcons are picking it up again. However, it's a 2v2. That guy's getting blood hungry. Could easily Third. go either way, so this guy is moving up. Remaining. Wow. It's a 1v1 now. The sky that versus omen the omen. That omen might just get shot in the back. He does not know where, where oh, she he's is. He's got to turn around now or else it's all going to end. Oh, he's turning around. He knows where they are. Holding that nice corner up. He might just get flashed. Oh, she doesn't know where he is. Poor in, poor in the old, the old uh, jet. He is just waiting. He does oh, not. that's the great thing. Oh, yeah, because omen, he can also flash. He can also deafen you, which yeah. is, is his personal ability, which you don't want to do that. 30 both seconds Very left. low on health. Oh, this is so tense right now. They're both at such Spike low is health. planted. This is rough. Here. Any hit will kill either one of them. Oh, right there. boy. And the Golden Knights take it with a, with a like a, Barely, they, they like barely ahead. got that. Pulling ahead. They really weren't doing too hot most of the game. They've been pulling ahead the last couple rounds, and I love to see it. Mm, I know. How how dare we doubt them? How dare we? Um, that was great, though. I mean, and those are the plays you really want to see. Yeah. Just the, the you know the trading on and off, and then at the end, this tense like little shootout that really determines the fate of that game. Yeah, and if they are better on assault, then that really doesn't matter at this point because all that are left, all that's left is attack. Right. So they have, yeah. they can just run away with the rest of the game if, if uh, the, the Falcons don't figure out what to do. So we're in a very similar position the last time. We have five rounds left before uh, winning, or before someone can win. Um, you need to get to 13, which I'm sure everybody knows at this point. But uh, this could easily go into a third map. And I know I've said that a couple times, but I don't think people really understand how, like, how intense that can get. Uh, yeah, we're used map. to being, for like a tie to be an option. Yes, right. So there's never a third map. Um, okay, wow. So uh, the Golden yeah. Knights still maintaining a, a, a large amount of um, agents on the field, uh, easily taking out the three of the uh, of the Falcons here. Yeah, I love to see how their attack strategy, because they really just spread out so quickly mm -hmm. when they want to take that point. And there's really nothing you can do, because before you know what you're surrounded. Right. Um, and I think the Falcons remaining. are really starting to see some of that pressure come out. Um, yeah, I wouldn't peek that if I were you. <laughs> not a lot of Sage can do here against four, you know, four enemies. I'd say save the gun, but all you really have is sidearm and two. Yeah, and, uh, and unfortunately, there's very little you can actually do in that situation. Yeah, ults happen very well. It might just run away with the whole thing. Okay, let's see. Uh, wow, a timeout. You kind of have to. Yeah, you, yeah, I mean, you know, you just gotta. When you see your players are, are starting to struggle a little bit, you gotta just pull them out and say, guys, listen, here's what we gotta do. Mm. Um, and a good coach, I feel like, knows how to do that. Um, don't know what we're doing with the camera. <laughs> <laughs> We're just checking uh, out. We're, seem to be. We're just uh, making sure that. Uh, well, there we, we go. We were checking wow, out. Wow, yeah. Had the, had the Heather eyebrow <laughs> straight or not. But, uh, um, all right. So, okay, Connor, first impressions of the second map now. Do, all do you right. think the map. Whose advantage do you think the map is working for more? Originally, I thought the Falcons were had, had the advantage of locked in key. I really thought yeah. they were going to have to take the whole thing. But now, seeing how well um, the Golden Knights have changed there. since then, I. I I don't know. I mm -hmm. think the Golden Knights may take this this map and we go to the third one. Well, because that, that's the thing. Um, it, you know, with this timeout, I mean, uh, we don't know what's going to happen, but if it's whatever happened last game, it might just inspire the, the Falcons to get back in there. Oh, um, man. And then map three would be a war. Map three would be, I hope it would be Icebox, because I genuinely believe that Icebox is one of the best maps for, for uh, a third map, you know, really the tiebreaker. It's becoming my favorite map, slowly but surely. All right, let's see. I won't, you never know what happens uh, in those in those timeouts. So maybe maybe the Falcons have unlocked the Konami code and, yeah. and know how to break this now. But you left never right, know. Left, right, up, down, up, down. Left, right, left, right, BA. I don't know it. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, there BA it is. start. <laughs> why do you, you don't have a, why do you know that? I don't, don't worry about it. <laughs> um, Okay, so I, I am I am really curious to see if, if Monmouth is going to stay behind the whole time. Like, if they're just going to stay at 7 or maybe 8. Um, but, wow, they're really... I love how it looks like a movie almost. They're moving so slow and in such a big group. God, we're, we're great. I know. We're an acapella group. Um, shooting through that smoke there. There's only really one person, but still, they don't want to get caught. Similar strategy to last time, moving up the left-hand stairs. Oh, wow. wow, okay. Um, getting their stage getting taken out by the rays. Boombot, oh, oh Boombot is quickly getting dispatched. Oh, th this is just a kill box now. Yeah, the, oh, Boombot was going nutty with it. <laughs> <laughs> you 
got it, Connor. The, oh wow, that, okay. that that the knight's play was almost self-sabotaging. Yeah. They all they all got themselves in that room and then they were surrounded. You got they boxed themselves mm -hmm. in. I yeah, I know, and that I think uh, that going up those left-hand stairs is that's probably where a lot of people take cover. Mm -hmm. That's where they try to take out people coming up that center. So when all of the team members push in that way, yeah, you know, you don't really have anywhere else to go but drop down. It looks down. like they're not even going to try that again. They're not yeah. even bothering with the middle of the map. They're going right to A. Sage getting ready with that. Okay, dropping it, but still, Only that, two that's defenders the wall, on correct? A. Huh? Yes. I, yeah, so, I mean, getting ready with that wall, and I mean, blocking off an area, like, yeah, look at that. You can see the shots see you right later, away. Pal. Um, throwing in some of those area of effect bombs there. Just, I think, just trying to keep people out of that entrance. Mm -hmm. All right, so it's I just nine. Gotta, you gotta slow down the attacker's push, yes. yeah. Uh, and then really regroup to see where they're going. So it's 9 to 8 right now. Two of them are actually have looped back around and went up towards the middle. I yeah. mean, the middle's hard to leave. You kind of want to take that point if you can. So the Falcons did lose an agent. However, um, there are three people, or three of the Golden Knights pushing right now. Um, okay, they lost their Sage now. Not good. Um, but they reciprocated. They got the Omen. Wow, and the Rays going Evo, down. Wow, that, that Rays, just so many kills. So that raise is on their own right now, probably trying to circle back. I don't think they need anybody else. <laughs> probably has got it all on their own. Um, but I'm afraid that if, if that they the, uh, the Falcons don't group up, wow, never mind. EJP taken down too by Yu Yu? I was afraid if the, if the Falcons didn't group up, they might get cornered on their own. But it yeah. looks like they're easily taking out uh, the Golden Knights, especially with the Chamber on such low health. One enemy wow, remaining. Dropping them both to nearly nothing, but it is just up to the raise left. at this point. And they, they, they both have trail. very little health. That, mm -hmm. that sky is going to alt. All right, let's see it. Chamber's back at full health. Oh, okay. And law taking down down Evo. Some say some would say that he laid down the law. You you would be correct in saying that. That one did not make me sad. Um, that one was not bad, Connor. He laid down the law right there, didn't he? Thank you. Um, so that was a little upsetting to me, but I think when, especially you just, you're trying to shoot at two people at once, it just won't work. Yeah. Um, so that chamber stood in front of the sky. Yeah, they were both very low health, but mm -hmm. as soon as, uh, the sky altered and got him back up to full, there yeah. was nothing they could that do. That was, I mean, the Rays had a good chance until that happened. Yeah. And then, then it's just a two on one and that's very difficult. Um, so only three more needed for the Golden Knights to win, and then we'll go to a third map, but Falcons, the Falcons still have time. Yeah. They still have some time, so they really are going to need to utilize that, uh, that time, utilize that timeout, whatever they were told, um, and really get in there. Now that Sky pushing up by themselves, not good. Ooh, uh, that, the, uh, <laughs> sorry, the Falcons Ray is popping her ultimate, but only getting one. Which is sad, because when, when you pop that ult, you really are looking for yeah. a multi-kill. Right, I, I know what you, you mean. You don't want a solo ult, because at that point, it's just, a, it's just a waste. The Defender Killjoy bringing that out just to lock down that area. Falcons um, keeping the game alive. Definitely not bad. That Sky is just waiting for someone to come around that corner, but the, uh, the, the Golden Knights are kind of holding back, taking their time. I think they definitely want to choose an approach right now. Yeah, they really stalled their, their uh, assault so far, which I'm glad, because uh, definitely the Falcons want to want to keep this game going as long as possible. I mean, the Falcons are, are pretty spread out, so um, I'm a little concerned about their ability to take on three people, mm -hmm. you know, moving in one group. And look at them slowly going up. Yeah, Orange has this this little hallway locked down. I think they're gonna they're gonna pretty much corner that that sky. Oh wow! Thirty seconds uh, left. And the stage. Oh, oh it's that oh, one person. Could have gotten more. Spike very down good a. though. I mean, listen, it's a three v two. That's that's very good for them. I always get excited when I see something like that. <laughs> I do think that it was it's difficult because that sage probably would have been better in a group. Right? Yeah, the defenders here at A, an easy plant for the for the Golden Knights. Yeah, only ten seconds left once yeah, they got the. If we had some the defenders there, that probably they probably wouldn't have had enough time. Flashing themselves. Flash themselves. Interesting tactic there. An interesting play. I wonder what the what the strategy behind it was. All right, so it looks like we have a very similar lineup: an Omen versus an Omen, and a Sky versus a Killjoy. Um, so that Sky is just going to take their time and hide in that smoke. The Omen doing a good job laying down cover fire. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, no. no. Just peek out. Peek it out. One oh, and oh, they're amazing. A quick kill uh, on both counts. I mean, you know, like I said, moving through that smoke or moving past that smoke is so risky because someone can pop out on either or uh, at, at any time. And you were right. Yeah. They did just peek and take them out. So that brings the uh, Golden Knights up to 11 now, uh, and the Falcons up to 8. So they are actually lagging behind really bad. Yeah, quite a bit, um, actually. They are going to need to win uh, a good couple rounds to really get on top. Oh, wow. 
Gosh, I, I mean, I listen. I did say I thought it was going to go to three, but I was I was doubting myself a little bit there. Yeah, after I, I really wasn't. I, I didn't see uh, that much from uh, Old Tappan in the first round. Mm -hmm. But after seeing a lot of them now, honestly, with how well they're working as a team and all, and how well they're choosing characters, how well they're using their alts, how well they're just taking picks, mm -hmm. I could tell. I could honestly probably see them taking picks the whole game. Yeah, I, I could. Um, let's see how they fare though. Uh, different approach here. They definitely try to push through the tunnel and then get to the site um, rather than go up to that central corridor or, or move to the side. Great attack all around right now. Just, Jeez, just the Falcon demolishing the defenders. Just, yeah, are not able to push through, easily dropping them to two agents left. A Sky and a Killjoy. Nearly impossible for them to, to win this um, with merely two agents left. Yeah, but everyone has their alt right now. One enemy remaining. Yeah, and yeah, that's a flawless. Yeah. Only one more going into match point for Old Tappan. What a way to get to match point. What a way to get to match point indeed. Match point. Yeah, that this okay, so this is gonna get pretty intense soon. I really um, do love that knife skin. It's it's honestly yeah, really right? impressive. I love the, the metallic like texture on it. Yes. Um Oh it's double blade it's like a double blade. So oh. like he's got two knives. Yeah. yeah. Like a ninja. Gosh. Like you, you'd really think we weren't so impressed by that. <laughs> He's holding two knives instead of one. And he can swing them both? That's crazy. Whoa. <laughs> We're very easily <laughs> amused over here at AH Media. Uh, okay, so there. this is it. This is the match point. I mean, if, if the Falcon, All the potatoes, all the marbles. If the Falcons can not only hold, but then win. Win enough matches to get to the same spot. There's no... They're going to go to a third match. Rez back up. So, you want uh, the to play? Nice Rez everyone's in their all to make sure that they, mm -hmm. that they secure this win. A luxury that the, the Falcons cannot afford. So they are going to stay... They have to stay with four agents. Little boy plant. All right, that high ground is going to come in handy uh, for, for the Falcons. It's just, can they utilize it? Mm. That, that, that wall is pulled yeah. off. That stage wall going up, doing uh, some wonders Falcons are going to have to pull off some, some, uh, some heavy stuff if they want to win this. Everybody's looking pretty good on health, the exception of, uh, with the exception of the Rays on the Falcons team. Law bringing out that big cheese. Wow. That, that Mondo rifle. That, 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 uh... Whoa! Okay. Wow! Wow! All they have to do They did is, it! I think they did. I said they had to pull off something I know. great, and they did. I, I, all they gotta do is defuse now, and that is plenty of time. Well, round one, so that brings them to nine. Whoa. We shouldn't celebrate too early, but that was a quick succession. I was, like, already hanging up my coat. I thought, I thought <laughs> they had it. God, we still got one more match. If they win, we've got one more match to compensate, bud. We're not done yet. It's okay. It all comes down to this. It's all, it all comes down to all this. this. Someone make you an offer you can't win. Whoa. Getting mobster there. I'm sorry. <laughs> all right, so they're, they're eager. You can tell. They're jumping. They're hitting stuff. Oh, oh God. They want this win. I wonder if, if a, a good old push, just a rush right out the gate would, would do well for them. I think it's a bit risky, but they, they are able to take some chances right now. Are you aware of who Leroy Jenkins is? I am. Uh, I believe that his method may be just That's a good reference, but I'm afraid to don't understand it. Well, for those of you who don't yeah. know, there was a, a, uh, a legend um, named by the name of Leroy Jenkins who uh, was made it an art form of running in and getting himself killed. But... Um, I feel like they have to symbolize maybe a more tactical approach to push a very approach um, while also spirit. Yeah, that's the that's the point. But we see it being applied here. Uh, I think it could definitely work in their favor if they were to just push very fast. Um, yeah, definitely lock down a, one of the sites and then just keep them Last out. But wow, the Whoa, Falcons are pulling back. Defense can't, oh wow, all that's left is is Sung Hoon here. Try to take it all. Uh, a Killjoy and a Sage versus a Sky. Oh, now, wow, nice. the Defenders won. That brings them to 10, double They're digits. They're bringing it back. Okay, so double digits for the Falcons here. This is something Monmouth is expect. leaving it all on the keyboard. All right. That, it works. It's okay. I'll get that on the poster. Thank you. Um, so, okay, old tap in here. Um, really starting to, I think they're starting to feel that pressure. Um, I know I would, yeah. I mean, th they just lost two in a row. And they are now in double digits. They are only three away from winning, two away from where the Golden Knights are currently. So we got to see some really good plays here on the Falcons' part, and if they want to stay in this match. Mm -hmm. All right, so Sky holding that, um, going to hold that angle there. I'm going to back up a little bit. I uh, definitely don't want them flanking, but looks like that's what they're trying to do here. And the Sage is just waiting. He's kind of just like, like goblin stance in the corner. It's, you got Listen, it. If the Sage can get one and take the health off of another, that's super helpful. That's that's a, that's all you really need. Right, exactly. So that could be the turning point. 
Um, hopefully the sage is able to buy their time, be patient, and wait for one of them to get close enough where they can jump out, because yeah. you don't, you don't want to overdo it. Um, so it looks like uh, the th these three uh, attackers are kind of hanging out there, while everybody else is going to flank around the side. It looks like they're all going to flank around the side. Yeah. Um, so that's going to leave uh, two of the falcons over to the side they're going to. I hope they don't get overrun too quickly. Yeah, you don't want to. You don't want to spread yourself too thin. You don't want to get get a little too hot. They're moving in slow. They don't want to give themselves away. But I don't it's think the really falcons only are been expecting at, them. At, at, uh, at A and left, many many rounds. A, it all it's all come down to A. Yeah. Okay, so it looks like the falcons are aware that they are moving and they're going. Uh, they're getting into position to flank. All that rotate. Yep. Thirty they're seconds. So, very fast. Wow. Okay, the falcons. Wow, falcons it's killing two of them as they approach the site. Ultimate's coming out too. Taking out one, two, one, just one, and then wow. In a, so that match, that match. The defenders are going nuts. Listen, that match was like there was a ton hap. There was not a lot happening at the beginning, right? Very slow. In a matter of five seconds, I counted five seconds. All of the enemy, or all of the um, the uh, golden knights were slain. Wow. That's how quickly that moved. I think I, I think I blinked. I think I blinked and they were dead. I breathed, and then they were dead. Oh wow. And that's and that really goes to show. I think Adam. I think we are sitting in the presence of legend. We, we've said this a couple times. We are lucky to be here. We've said it a couple times that when you get to this high level of play, you get you get uh, games like that. You get matches that like crazy stuff happens. But we are at the point where we're not only in like the the one of these high level games, we are starting to see the final moments of a high level <laughs> game where the stress is the most intense. They are one away from winning, and the other team is right behind them. So we're going to see some of the best plays here. Yeah, and you don't want to lose. I believe I believe uh, there's a great quote I believe Ooh, by uh, by good. Thanos in Infinity War. Thanos? He said, "Yeah, he said I know what it's like to lose. It turns the legs to jelly." And um, <laughs> that's, I, that quote always oh, stuck with me. through the smoke. Wow, oh, right through the smoke. That was a lucky shot, but geez, I mean, it was good. Okay, so the Golden Knights planting. Three to four, very, it, this could be brought back by the Falcons. We've seen mm -hmm. them do some crazy stuff just last round. I mean, a lot of ults were used, so they don't have that luxury on their side, but, um, but really, if the Falcons can push in, get a couple good kills, then they can easily defuse that spike, but they have to move quickly. Yes. They cannot let that spike get any further. Oh boy, it's all, all right. coming down to this. Looks like they're not moving Edges in of very our fast. Cease. Here I'm a little nervous. That's uh, oh, barely not getting fast. Very quick. Throw in the corner with the kill. Trade. Wow. Okay. Two to three trading. That's One enemy not remaining. great for the Falcons. But not that, great for the Falcons at all. Is that spike really... is ticking down. You have to get oh, in there. No. Oh, the attackers win. Attackers that is win. We are going to a map third three. map. Wow. Oh my god. But you gotta give the Falcons credit. They did very, very, very well in that last little bit. I don't think my heart can take it. <laughs> if you need to lie down, Connor, that's okay. I think I need a nap. All right, so 33 kills for Evo. Look at that, yeah. Wow. I mean, th not surprising. And this is the same thing that we saw when you have one of the whole team kind of shoved up at the top there. You can really see um, just how strong they are as a unit. Yeah. Um, it's not, you know, as dispersed. It's just everybody's kind of in that center block. So first blood, again, go to Evo with six. Not as much as seven as we saw last time, mm -hmm. but still six. Amazing. Uh, uh, plants. Orange Orange really was their uh, yeah. their planter there. Yeah. Taking out eight plants. Wow. Um, but that, I mean, and consistently you see in all these categories, um, the, the they're at the top, right? Mm -hmm. the, yeah. So really you can't deny that they have an amazing presence. And I mean, honestly, this last one can go either way. That was a very close game, like, too. It was close the whole time, but I mean, it, at the end, like, you, they had this amazing push. Now, they did end up losing it, which, I mean, given the circumstances, makes sense. But still. Yeah, I'd be shocked if I had a play, a pl if I saw a playoff game that didn't go to round three. Because, uh -huh. like, everyone, everyone is at that top level of play that they're not dropping that many rounds. So, th this is a. Uh, uh, this is taking um, a bit longer than we thought, but hey, we're here for it. And I believe. I believe we've been informed that actually um, the Knights were the ones that took the first game. Oh my God! How did I forget that? <laughs> yeah. So, so I believe I believe we had the teams mixed up in the first game. The Knights oh, won the first man. map. I'm being told we are not going to the third round. I love that. Oh it my is, God! It has all been won by the Knights. I, it, and nobody nobody here can see it, but somebody walked into the room and went. They like just did this to us, and we were just like. 
I um, think we mixed up the teams. No, but I, I do want to say that we uh, we are not familiar with these teams, no. right? So um, we are we have mentioned before we're, we're commentators for WPSD Commons, and those are the people we're most familiar with. So having people like members <laughs> like that we haven't seen uh, is a bit hard for us to remember. But still, all around um, a fantastic game. Yeah. Uh, now knowing that the Knights took both games, not just the second one. I mean, regardless of who was doing it, that push at the end was they phenomenal. Were all amazing. They were all phenomenal. Um, that was amazing. Yeah, so, hey, we're, we're really sorry about that mix-up. Um, yeah, that was bad on our part, but, uh, hey, it's. I think it was still a fun game. That was amazing. Um, and I, it's the last one we'll be doing before the, uh, the championship. Speaking of the championships, this Saturday, sorry, at 9 a.m., you're going to see our pretty mm -hmm. faces live on live. Yeah. Um, um, all for all three Valorant games we're going to be streaming. So that's, it's going to be us. There's going to be professional casters there. You know, people who have been doing this for a lot longer than we have. You're going to have professional players, you know, people from high school, but also from uh, different organizations. It's going to be a ton of fun. Absolutely. So, we're really going all out. Like, mm -hmm. we, we've we've received props for how... how um, well we put on these streams we are really taking it up a gear for for the championship yeah. and i cannot wait and and listen uh everybody you know if you don't like valorant that's totally fine we just want you to tune in in general because listen the goal of this is to have fun and build support for the cause right esports um it means a lot to a lot of different people whether you're the person playing whether you're coaching whether you're part of the amazing tv studio you know helping us put it together or you're just one of two guys who really like talking into yeah, the camera just really like seeing ourselves yeah um that's why we wanted to go to a third man yeah. we just want to talk more <laughs> um but we thank you guys so much for watching and remember save the date saturday june 4th um, that'll be the next time we start streaming. There's going to be tons of people, tons of games, um, and it's going to be so, so, so much fun. So uh, I just want to leave us with these last comments of, uh, of the game and uh, just see really where you think we stand. So, Connor, what do you think uh, we can learn from these two teams kind of going into the championship? I definitely, like, the Golden Knights proved... Um, just how, like, number one, the, why they're number five in the seed. They mm -hmm. did great. Um, but the Falcons really did show, like, hey, they like they were offered a, a spot in this tournament, but they showed, like, they are, they, they know what they're doing. Yeah. Yeah, they, they deserve a spot in this tournament. Uh, I know, and I agree. Um, so actually, they may have lost the game, but they're not out. Yeah, well, exactly right. They're going to both be playing. But yeah. we're going to go to a, a – so we're going to go to a, um, a, a virtual handshake right now uh, between the, the players, just a, a sign of goodwill. Um, and we're going to uh, really just, I think, see how each of them feel. I mean, yeah. you know, you'd be surprised, like, not being able to uh, be in person is, uh, you know, it, it sucks, right? But no, yeah, yeah. there's so much emotion on the camera that you can, like, see kind of framed for you. Yeah. Um, um, so we're going to we're going to head out, guys. Uh, but we thank you so much for watching. Uh, we hope that you guys um, tune in uh, on June 4th and uh, we uh, will see you next time we're uh, on the camera. Listen to ASMR sounds with your screen off and relax uninterrupted. Try YouTube Premium on us.